uh 12 ish hours i think since we've content created collaboratively it's kind of crazy to think about right it was I mean, not that long ago it used to be quite common that is true hang on i'm just changing all of my settings listen with, there's no reason for me to be in unlimited fps mode let's be reasonable with one another you don't want to fully take advantage of the technical performance of your machine? The older I get, the more I um, basically want to play everything in a 16 by 9 window on my main monitor. <laughs> I think there's a correlation there. Because I noticed that a lot of my older co-workers in my two office jobs liked to use windows of like the default size that like they open up normally without adjustment in your browser you know what i mean yeah yeah i i prefer and it have like three or four of those hello <laughs> hello the the spectrum here you know what i mean uh midway through your sentence i accidentally hit my global deafen key Oh, fun. Because I have accidentally, I've, I've got my, got my game on the wrong display. We're going to move it. Ah, now we're talking. It's conversations on hard mode. You know how it is. Like you're trying to do tech support while also maintaining like some form of banter at the same oh, time. That's, that's like half the gig, <laughs> right? Yeah. Justin's like, I got to start a new lobby. And everyone else is like, where, what is this kind of hairbrush? Can you put the hairbrush in the charger? Can you? How do I use the flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, gents. Hold. Hey, Dan. Oh, Daniel, you uh, okay? You are coming through a, uh, a, a cordless phone from the other room, by the way. Bro's a Decepticon. Yeah. That's got to be my webcam mic. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You guys ever think it's crazy that um, Batman is the number one guy in Batman and Robin Hood's number two? But then in Robin Hood, Rob, wait, Rob, I got it. You know what? It's pretty early in the morning. I'll just come over here to the no, dummy you, manager. I, I think this is where kinda, I belong. You kind of hacked that joke. You, you took a shortcut you didn't even realize was well, there. Was and there. there. You saved us a lot of time. Exactly. Bear, is this better? Oh, Holy. much better. Yes. Mayor, can I be the uh, may maybe the last person to congratulate you for seven ninety nine? By the way, thanks, dude. I'm so pumped about it. It took a while. Can I, I be the last am... person to congratulate you for your seven ninety nine? Thank you. I've been waiting for that. Yeah, yeah. You specifically. <laughs> it was hard, man. I'm I, I'm impressed with anybody that's able to do that because that is uh, one of the hardest things I've ever done in a game, man. That is that crazy. a knock on mouth? Because he can only get to seven ninety seven. I don't like Michael A.L. Fox. I mean, I appreciate you, like, giving me the window. But, yeah, no, let's just go ahead and plow right through that one, too. Um, I don't know about you. I'm excited to check out some Gangs of Sherwood. I am. Well, shall we? Let's do it. I think we shall. Is everyone mm -hmm. online on Steam? Yes. Let me, yes. Let me shift tab on you, and then... I believe I need to start a mission. Or you know what, Bear, why don't you handle it, Bear, if you're in the hub world? I think you might be the most well-versed among us. Uh, possibly, but that's not saying much. Let me give it a go. Well, now you didn't have to insult us. <laughs> you, can't, you can't take every time I praise myself and immediately flip it into an insult. <laughs> That's I I already have those negative behaviors. Oh, you, I, I I can understand that. I can relate to that. Here, gang visibility. I'm gonna say this gang is gonna be friends only. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, I think that's all you have to do. I think you're doing the exact same thing I would be doing here. We were going to the select mission, Act One, um, and then I think you might have to invite us. See, that's the thing is I I was trying to find like where the social control yes is in the hub it's, here and i'm escape struggling social invite friend bear taffy uh -huh. invite friend Dangizing. there he goes he is built different 
Shift tab. Allow access. Now you got the exact same prompt. Thank you, Firewall, for protecting me. Imagine how much you could like ruin our morning if just one of us hit block. <laughs> Speaking of that troubleshooting, that be <laughs> fun gauntlet to go undergo. I accidentally told my firewall that the sponsored game is a virus. Help. <laughs> you got that in the one sheet somewhere down there in the helpful tips for the streamer? I am amazed people keep working with streamers. Like it's I'm amazed that people keep working with me, and I'm amazed that I keep working with streamers. Like, the, the kind of stuff that you get is, uh, you go through is, it's not typical. I mean, I don't want to toot our horns, but I would put us in the uh, higher tier of professional streamers. I was going to say, yeah, yeah I, feel like, I think so. Especially the last time us three got together, I feel like it was a pretty solid offering. I think we did a pretty yeah. good job. Well, uh, speaking you guys, of which, I guess yeah. we're back, aren't we? Yeah, welcome to Games <clears throat> of Sherwood, y'all. Exclamation point GOS, I believe, is all of our commands. Oh, I have an exclamation point Sherwood, personally, but I encourage you to use oh. whatever you feel is most appropriate. Mm -hmm. There's also an exclamation point trailer, I believe. I'm not sure if y'all got similar instruction, but I've got that one yes. as well, if y'all want to check that out. I do want uh, to say thanks to the well. team for sponsoring oh, yeah. our team, or time with it, yeah. Go there ahead. you go. I I would like just to say that Gangs of Sherwood is now out on PS5, Xbox Series S, and PC. Click exclamation point GOS in chat to check it out. Join along with us. Boys, mm -hmm. shall we? Shall we? Please. As I understand it, it's a Vermintide-style co-op, objective-based, wave-based combat with Robin Hood aesthetics over top of it. There's magic. There's steampunk elements. You're this both taller than me. That that's making me I'm feel. Just, I'm very glad to see that we didn't have any uh, clash in character selection because I had hard dibs on Friar John. Mm. Or sorry, not Friar John. Uh, it's Friar John. John. Friar, 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 Friar Tuck. Tuck. Was it? Oh my God! Now it's right. Friar Tuck. Big John, or is Friar Big John Tuck. the guy Tuck. from like uh, Doom? Big John, big John, dusk? John, but he's always big. Like that's, that's oh. the, the goof about Little John. He's a big boy. But then Lil John is actually quite diminutive in his size. Right. He's not that big yeah, at so, all. Yeah. They, I think they're kind of pulling a fast one on us with that. There is a Big John Steakhouse in Michigan. It's a it's a small regional chain. Maybe that's what you're thinking of, Ryan. Maybe that's probably it. Yeah. I'm always going there. Yeah. Okay. I'm always getting a Delmonico with a side of uh, cream spinach. Mm, it's actually a steak sandwich. It's called, and if you go there, you just tell me you want the Big John, and they give you a big sandwich. Usually, that's what I tell my proctologist, and then they give me a pill. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Uh, big, big thank you uh, to Gangs of Sherwood for sponsoring. It's oh, yeah, like the know. Renaissance, man. They, they're dealing with all kinds of fluids. <laughs> Big back then <laughs> the what's y'all's meat to bread ratio for your sandwich because i like that to be like a 75 25 at least like four times meat to bread yeah something like that holy i'm like a, like a lot of meat in there dude i'm like a like a one-to-one -one. yeah oh man i like bread he's a bready boy i mean bread's good i, I like bread just as much as the next guy i don't want to be that guy but i'm like 30 days no bread Oh, really? I don't miss it. I'm in beyond. I don't miss yeah. it. That's mm -hmm. impressive, dude. I I don't know if I could do that. I, I got a lot of bread in my diet. I mean, if you seven ninety nine, it's pretty much you set the yeah, standard. Yeah. You can do anything in <laughs> in your life. <laughs> Discipline, yeah. No, I get it. All right. Uh, so I've done like a total of like twenty seconds of this mission. So I think we're all kind of. Uh, uh, we'll lead the way then. Here. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> This game is gorgeous, by the way. I think it goes without saying, but I'm advancing real through the city. So we can. Uh, I'm playing on controller. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming you guys are mouse and keyboard, but you can. Uh, you can sprint. You, can you jump, of course. You got your light and heavy attacks. We got our shields. I got a nice big fancy purple shield. I don't know what y'all are rocking, but I got is a there little. An I'd say a buckler. Yeah, that looks right. Is there an what, 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 I should know that. What is what is an ulti? <laughs> an ulti, that's standard. Oh, an ulti. I thought you said an alt. No, I also I, I, thought I, I he said know. an ulti. I think ulti. that we might unlock a stronger attack later on. There's also this Devil May Cry-esque uh, kind of ranking like system that. going on here where the better that we perform in combat, the more money that we get from the Oh. Ooh, which is pretty neat. 
So we should be like air dash, by the way. Wait, whoa, how'd you do that? Yeah, just A and A again, or jump. And oh then no, jump again. I'm on. <laughs> I should have known. I gotta remember that. Yeah, no, every th every opportunity that I get to turn it into a controller game, I'm more than happy to. I'm I think it's laziness. I think it's good for your hands to play things Probably. on the controller. Oh. I think I'm it's better for the That's tendons. true to make myself feel better. That makes sense to me. I think so because it's less movement, right? On your tendons. Well, I, I feel like our hands were designed to hold stuff, like controllers. Yeah, I think from caveman times, we've been, you know, like genealogically through the years, we've been working our way up to being able to per perfectly hold a 360 controller. It feels you know what's right. weird? Controllers aren't even that old. They're like 30 yeah, years true. old. There's been yeah. like. I guess like remote controls could be argued as something like kind of similar to that, right? Which has been around for a while, but like video game controllers specifically, yeah, those are pretty new. It's so embarrassing that you guys have to actually like get close to them to do damage. <laughs> Not me, on the other hand, I'm Robin Hood. Um, if you don't you mind, can I'll just lock be on, on to enemies as well. By the way, I don't know what the button uh, is for you guys, but just FYI. Okay. Make your best guess. I'm gonna guess that it's middle mouse. Ooh. I switched as soon as you guys start talking controller. I just grabbed my controller. It's it's Hell seamless, yeah, my brother. You know what? Let's go. Controller <laughs> boys. <laughs> if I have to ask you what the buttons do, I might as well be able to input no them. No further confusion. <laughs> the joystick is like 60 years old, apparently. Maybe really? you're, maybe wow. your joystick. Hey. <laughs> Reach City Hall oh, Square. Like What'd you guys get ranked on that one, by the way? Oh, I got a D. Big fat D. I got classy. Same, actually. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, Ryan, what is my guy holding up? I can't see. Mm. Or bear? Uh, I think it's. I mean, you got a little purple shield that emits from your fists, but you, you're just holding up your your dukes, dude. I can't right. tell yeah. if he wants to fight me. Bear, hit your L1. Are you? A, oh, oh, sorry, my L1. Good. My bad. Yeah. Holy! I know. Look at dude. We should I'm stand no behind this, this guy. Yeah, I know exactly. I'm, I'm moving the payload. I'm Tracer. Ooh. What? What, Gavna? Oh, hello. Wait, is Tracer the one where there's a lot of um, artist renditions of? I think they're all the <laughs> one that there's a lot of artist no, renditions of. No, there's one that uh, there's more renditions of than oh, the other one. A few extra, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she said that a bunch of rubble has fallen on top of her husband and she needs help, so. Bro, she's like so, photorealistic. Yeah, that's Dude, impressive Tracer? facial technology. <laughs> to Tracer. <laughs> Tracer, not so photorealistic. Okay. Well, for some people. Anyways. Do, do our combos extend? I, I was trying to figure that out. Yeah, I think we each have our own individual combo because, yeah, I imagine I probably would have had a little bit bigger than a 10 right now if yours were counting. Right. So that would mean, I guess, that we get our own rankings as well. Oh, I wonder if at the end of the level there's like the, the screen of shame. You know, where oh, it's yeah. that's my favorite thing about multiplayer games. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm just hoping to humiliate you guys the most whoa, we whoa. can through the course of the next two hours. Although I'm the only one that's getting D ranked, so I don't know how successful I'm going to be at that. Hang on. I'm still on D rank. I'm still on D rank. But this is going to change all of that. Ooh. So you are Robin, right? I'm, Ryan? I'm, well, I didn't realize we were on a first name basis. I'm Robin Hood. My, my apologies, Mr. Hood. But hold the hood right now. There should be a button you press that puts the hood up. Oh, oh that would be good, yeah. flavor. Would be good to get the hood. Uh, there is a grappling hook as well. It's the X button since we're all on controllers now. The X button. Hey, are you oh, wait, no, you might be on the PlayStation that. guy. You're an I Xbox know, yeah, I was just going to say that, that, that there's further confusion to be had because mm. I am using an Xbox controller. Mm. How did you guys get up there? That's the well, grapple move. Press the button you would normally use to uh, reload your gun in a first-person shooter. Okay. Mm. R2. Oh, you, uh, yeah, you gotta be up R2? Up there, so, yeah. <laughs> what, triangle? Tri triangle? It's, it's the leftmost face button. The leftmost face button, yeah. Where? 
So of the oh. of the four buttons on the right side to the right of your right thumbstick, right? You got your yes. your bottom, your left, your top, and your right. <laughs> it's the left button in that set. Not not the one you're using the air dodge. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Square me. Square. Okay. Square. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Oh, that's an, that's a classic air dodge moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Did he? Uh, did he? I did okay, fall. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Guy, guy, guy. Good. I did fall. I had like a little cuphead moment there. Now, uh, I don't know if you two have seen the trailer, but this guy's in it, and the dude that they hired to perform this guy's role in the trailer is a fucking S-tier actor, and I just want to give him a bunch of props real quick. Okay. Props give. You did a great job. Props. Joke air. It sent a shiver down my spine when you said the F word. I, I, I caught it too, and I'm gonna stop myself. And my big thanks yet again to the Gangs of Sherwood team for sponsoring our time with the game today. Yes, thank you. I feel like if your game has lethal attacks in it, then swearing are, is okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Although I don't know, is there any blood? Mm. There's no blood. We're still in the clear. Because it could be like these could be simulations. You know what I mean? I see like, what we're not you're actually saying. killing yes. boys. We're 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 in a we're in the Matrix, baby. Boss time? Now that's what hit us at the talent. You guys know the lore behind Robin Hood? I mean, I have the general idea. Like, I'm talking about, like, does Robin Hood have, like, um, a friend? Like, is that any part of the story? <laughs> yeah, uh, Little John. Yeah. Oh, like a different kind of friend. Maid Marion? Yeah, uh, Little Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Do they get married or anything like that? Why is this um, what is the most uh, interesting part of the Robin Hood lore for you? I'm just, Honestly, I'm just I, think I, I think I know more about Robin Hood men in tights than I know about the actual lore of Robin Hood. I'm, that's a Mel Brooks movie. Is it good? Yeah, I've never I, seen it. I loved it as a child. I don't know how well it holds up. Okay. I imagine not great, but I feel like I would laugh a lot if I watched it again today. Chance wondering if you're searching for artist renditions. <laughs> they got a few on on deck. It holds up. All right, that's good news. All right, is this the sheriff of Nottingham with the with the big pants, Eliza of P pants? Did you see him? He's a representative like a of the sheriff of of Nottingham. Oh. oh, I see what I'm doing here. I use a, a three-piece melee combo Whoa. to launch them into the air, then I riddle them with bullets. Ah, I like ah. it. I was getting my rank up finally, but now they just... They, we're still in the same combat, apparently, as before. I don't know if this is the right way. I'm just... Yeah, me neither. Oh, this way. Go to the feels, white diamond. Yeah, this feels right. What I don't do when I'm on a ski hill. Nice. Um, <laughs> you're on a uh, you're on a nature walk with Dan. And uh, excuse me. Can you can you guys the open the gate for me so I can get in? Oh yeah, my bad. I'm like a little guy. I need you to open the gate for me. I can't open it from this side. I'm bro, sorry, bud. bro, what the heck? You'll have to find your own. Why don't you just leave it open for two seconds? I didn't have the option. It just sent <laughs> oh, me through. Oh okay, all right, all right. Never mind then. Although I was giving Dan shit for the exact same thing as I was doing it. Like we got baddies to beat, you know? Wait, Ryan, are you jumping around? Yeah, I, I, I can't. For an alternative path. I can't get through the way that you guys got through. I I think I needed some help. I don't know. I'm over here looting, though. All right, well, we, we, got, we got it handled. Well, I got a, a D in that one. I got zero damage done. Should have stepped it up a little on that one, bro. Oh, I, you can just vault over it. Oh, there you go. Oh. Found the way. Speaking of vaulting, Ryan, you turned 35. How's it feel to be old? Mm, how old are you? I don't know. You tell me. He's here, halfway here. through his vault up the hill. Yeah, yeah check over here. I was, uh, like, I, I'm genuinely not self-conscious about my age at all. The way I explained it to my chat is, like, you know, if you were born 35 years ago, you've only got two options, like, be 35 or the alternative. So... <laughs> 
for me, it doesn't really bother me. But then I told my wife, I was like, she said, happy birthday. And I said, gulp halfway to 70. And that really put it into perspective for me. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was like, every day now is closer to 70 than to birth. But Do you I, think 70 is, is like end game for the average person? No, but I think it's definitely old. But think of how much life you live. I mean, you were doing jumping jacks in middle school basketball. That was like a lifetime ago. I mean, it is crazy. Like 35 years is a long time. Did you do anything special for your birthday? I got to choose what we ate for dinner. What did you pick? I picked, That's a big decision. I picked Indian food. I know you were probably like, I bet you picked pizza because you love talking about that. <laughs> Me? It's just a reference to our uh, our Fortnite discussion from a couple weeks ago. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. It's better Dude, not I'm to get into it. I'm a little embarrassed about my, like, lack of palate, but when it comes to Indian food, I pretty much just think of it as chicken tikka masala. I think that's but fine. I love chicken tikka masala, dude. Like, I can't not get it. Every time we get something like that, it's just, it, it's too good. I think it's perfectly cromulent for a beginner's curry. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> what the heck is cromulent? I'm, I'm doing a, an impression of myself from five years ago. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I liked it. Mm -hmm. What? All right, so if if chicken tikka masala is like the hamburger, what's like the chicken sandwich? Um, oh, I, this is outside of my. I house. can't even follow the. What do you mean? Is a chicken sandwich more advanced than a hamburger? Well, it's like a you. Everyone has a hamburger when they come to the U.S. and then they come in the second time. They're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit more adventurous this time. I'm gonna have yeah. a chicken sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 we can do this. Oh, oh you, can... gotta, you gotta land those suckers on them, right? Yeah, there you go. Holy, I'm getting spun around here like a record, baby. I gotta lower my sense. How about one of these? Is Sens a lizard? Sens? Is Sens I think, a lizard? I think maybe Dark Souls? Yeah, and Sens Fortress, is he a lizard? I don't remember. I have no idea. Oh. There are lizards. I don't, you know, I should know who Sens is. I guess I got to read the description of the Dr. Bronner's uh, laundry soap bottle again to figure out who Sen is in the Dark Souls lore. <laughs> uh, could, could, let me in, thank you. See, the Why cool thing is that there's all these like co-op elements where we can use our uh, unique skills and weaknesses to help each other. We don't just open the gate and then abandon everybody else. You're the guy with the big muscles. I suppose I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> look at me! Look at me! I'm not. I can't help you. I mean, we all gotta contribute here. Uh, my whip was doing most of the work. Ooh, fancy! Isn't he a skater? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Sir Barker. He was my favorite character in THPS. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all handle him. I'll deal with the mobs. That's a good idea. Oh, come on out. There we go. Oh, can we set them free? Oh yeah, I bet we'll do that after the fight. Get over here. Good. Melting him, jeez. I mean, Dan and I have been training in the Crucible in Lies of P, so like. Oh, dude. This ain't nothing That's to true. Me, yeah, y'all are, are prepped for this. <laughs> it may go down as the longest Souls game of all time. <laughs> like it's, it's really long. I mean, it's good content, but it's long. I think I might check it out. Y'all are making it seem pretty it's, damn good. It's basically Bloodborne 2. I mean, yeah. my theory on that is that Miyazaki worked on it under a pseudonym. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm serious. He had a non-compete. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Dude, this is really good looking. I think someone has doubled audio. Um, yeah. In the game? Is that, is that doing it for you guys too? Because it has yes. been doing it for me. I feel I like, have. I feel like it's Dan because I also heard his alert come through uh. earlier. What do you mean? I heard the. Uh, oh, you're hearing. The <laughs> I heard the robot voice go. Yeah, thank you for the pogificity. 
<laughs> oh, so you're hearing the game through my mic? I believe yeah, I so, so. Yeah. Yeah, that that's on me. That's on. Me. <laughs> Hold on, just can you tell me if you hear this? Yeah. It's very quiet though. <laughs> It sounds like you're playing something from like the opposite corner of the room. All right, is this better? I I think it should be good. No. I'm I'm gonna assume so. Okay. Why did Sir Barker have a Borderlands intro? I, that was. Dude, imagine really similar. Bob Barker had a Borderlands intro. That'd be sick. When you went on the Price Is Right. Mm-hmm. Is he still? Um. No. Nah, it's you know. Drew Carey oh. now. It's been Drew oh. No, 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 no. Bit. Drew Carey no, is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, is Bob Barker still uh, the opposite of 35? Mm, I'm pretty sure. No, He's still alive? Check. He did die. He did? Okay, yeah, I didn't remember. Can that. I get rank check? Rank check? I got a B. They're on the screen. For I, I don't see yours. Yeah, oh. we all got different ones, I think. Oh, I got an A. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I also got an A. Oh, that looks like I got the most wow. loot too. Oh, now I see both. Okay. No wonder the game's three. named after me. B for bear. That's true. They were just trying to be accurate. I like the the little vignette here. Oh, I really, like, oh. I really like these little puppets. I'm a big fan. <laughs> This might be my favorite part of the game. Holy cow, achievements coming out of our whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you think Bob Barker's microphone was actually functional? Yes. I think really? he fought for it in his contract. If it wasn't functional, how could we hear him? I mean, point. boom mics? I, those, it seems like that studio's got high ceilings, man. I can, can you imagine how strong the dude holding the 35 foot boom <laughs> mic arm must have been? He must have been Little John. It's, <laughs> it's all fulcrums and levers. It's just a big rope straight from the ceiling. It's like no, no, no control points or anything. It's just a big dangling 30 foot cable. Do you think there's a place where we could spend our gold for cosmetics, perhaps? I believe so. Actually, in fact, there is this little dude, the tailor. I'm in front of right here. Looks like most of it is locked behind story missions, though. There's got to be mm. something else. There's though. a flexed bicep over here. I like that. You can unlock a new techniques, new new combos you can use in battle. Oh, neat. Oh, this is the video game abstraction I always have a problem with, though, because it's like they're like you're the only person that can possibly save us. And then I'm like, can you teach me how to do drill arrow? And they're like, sorry, you're not ready yet. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's doing the drill arrows should be out here on the front lines with us then. Yeah, anyone capable of training us, I, I, I feel, is being uh, underutilized in their roles. But what if they're just retired? Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's on them then, I guess, to decide whether or not they're, they're too lazy to save the mm -hmm. planet. I might be. I mean, I'm halfway to 70. Oh, it's the woman whose husband we failed to uh, cover. <laughs> she says, I had to bury my husband. I lost everything. We all got problems, lady. Yeah, it's, it's rough times. She wants us to collect some flowers now since we failed to collect her husband. Okay, I just want you to know I cranked up the difficulty a little bit on this next one. Oh boy. I put it on heroic instead of normal, which I may regret, but... Uh, lies of pee, lies, lies of greed, lies of... <laughs> lies of Wait, hang on, he's spitting, he's spitting. Holy. Lies of why I ought to stop this guy from increasing the difficulty. Nah, you'll be fine. Just hold LB. Right. <laughs> ah, that's true. Oh. I haven't really done that very much. I do like the puppets, man. They're great. Me when I'm watching the Muppet Show. the last time you saw a game narrative presented by puppets? Okay, so that's like the 99% I mean. of the time that would be a cogent question. But Dan and I have been playing Puppet Souls for three months. Wow. <laughs> the only other puppet-based game I've ever played. Crap. Uh, uh, let's go prop bed. Will anyone die? I'm going to say well, no. Like it. 
Yeah, I'm also going to say no. Dying, on dying including a, a resurrection, does that count as a death? That does count as a death. Like, what about a, a down to a revive? That's a death. Okay. That's fine That's with me. Bar. I'm just getting the, getting the terms in order. I got you. As you know, I love gambling. So I just yeah. want to make sure we're starting <laughs> from the... <laughs> Big gambling. Oh, look at this environment. It's Robin this Hood's is home. The actual Sherwood Forest. It yeah, is. dog. My favorite hockey stick as a kid, Sherwood. Oh, that's a good one. That's kind. I, w I always felt like I scored more goals with the Sherwood, you know? Because it was sure. I, I see plus what you're twos saying. in chat? Yeah, I believe it. Plus two. Chat gets mad when you ask for plus twos. Have you guys ever noticed that? They're all about uh, it over here, man. They like they like delivering or they like having a points mechanism that they too can utilize. Oh. The pluses and the minuses, I think, are the it's the domain of the rabble. I don't concern myself. <laughs> the troops are invading through Edmundstone's bridge. Holy you cow! Do, what are you? What it are your elf eyes see? If you look over your chat, you see a wall of plus twos. You are concerned with it. I see. I'm concerned with uh, how cracked I am at telling jokes. I guess. I, you know what I love seeing though? I don't care if it's pluses or minuses as long as there's some reaction. The worst thing you yeah. can look over is just like you make a joke and you look over and there's just no movement in chat. Or somebody's like, what's your favorite kind of pizza topping? And then you're like, oh no, what have I done? Time to, time to wrap the stream up. <laughs> Going offline, guys. It's it's a little bit embarrassing, but we we watched uh, quite a bit of the 7.99 run, Elise and I together, because it was such a big moment. That's cute. And she was just like watching, like it was like me having the chance finally to see someone react to how I am when I'm on the stream. And when she would laugh at the jokes, it was like, Yo, was great. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much better than just saying a joke and having absolutely no reaction at all. That's how I feel when I catch you, Kate you, watching my videos. I'm like, oh, yeah. I've still got it. Mm. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm just it, saying, like, you know, like, I, 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 I know that the lols and the plus twos are good for something, but the difference between that and hearing someone laugh at something you said is just... Oh, man. We, we live in a digital world, y'all. right. See, I would be happy with just a few more lulls because, yeah. you know, it's normally I tell a joke and it's, hey, what's on your pizza? You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man, I got to stop getting D's out of here, dude. I got I to spice up my combat. Do you, do you remember the joke? Can you hit us with the joke that made her laugh? Do you remember? I could use no, a good chuckle. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I can't. Come on. You, you know, man. Come I on. I really don't. I, if I remember one, I'll, I'll tell you, but I don't know. Okay. I can't All think right. of one off the top of my head. I can hit you with one that I hit my daughter with this morning when I was. Oh please, yeah. Yeah. She has a a, a frozen themed flashlight. You can maybe you can see where this is going. I can envision it. I said, uh, "What does Elsa say when she turns on her flashlight?" And then what, what does Elsa say? She says, "Let it glow." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So did that gear, has that gear always been turning or did it get going the moment that she arrived in your life? The, the, the dad, the dad joke. I think yeah. like what people don't want to realize is that like dad jokes were just the jokes you told in like fifth grade. So you're kind of oh, just yeah. comedically regressing to like puns and like, hey, these two words kind of like sound similar. I just well like first of all like that's that's my entire brand of comedy so thanks but second of all like <laughs> sorry <laughs> but like I well clearly I have embraced that part of my mind but I yes. also wonder how much of that we're also just like actively fighting any uh, any any chance we get to make a make a portmanteau out of silly mm. words or, or or make a pun out of the name of the Dark Souls game you've been playing for the last two months. Like that's that that's just an incessant impulse, isn't it? Yes, I, I actively work against it. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. like we spent an entire stream a few days ago 
uh, replacing a single word in any given movie title with Ernest, mm, like from okay. the Ernest Goes to Camp <laughs> yeah, yeah. movies, you know, so it's like er Ernest Potter in the Chamber of Ernest, you know, they right, just take right. anything. The importance of being Ernest. Yeah, you know, like there's ones like that that are pretty great, like, uh, the, the, oh, no, there's, they're going to come back to me now. It's, it's, they, it works for every movie like there's there's not a single one that we dropped in chat through the course of a two-hour bit that didn't work like Ernest goes to 7.99 plus twos <laughs> sorry sorry there might be a couple that don't work apparently oh only you could fit through there Ryan I know that's, that's pre-peloton era yeah, dog, that's a Busty. Oh, a little blue chest up here. Oh, don't mind if I do. It's not a movie title, but Ed, Ed, and Ernest was definitely my favorite of the, of the lot. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Ernest goes to Jurassic Park. I think or you're, just you're like missing Jurassic like Ernest. an yeah. element. Oh, Jurassic, Jurassic <laughs> you, you slightly overcomplicated it, but yeah, no, you're getting there. Ernest goes to Apollo 13. You got it. You still <laughs> no, got it a still little there. backwards. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I kind of like Dan's interpretation. I just Ernest goes to movie. Yeah, just <laughs> he's just watching it. <laughs> oh, we get healed from these. I didn't realize that. Nice. I was Wait, actually is close that... to dying here. Speaking of dying, is Ernest opposite of thirty-five or is he thirty-five? Yes, I believe that Jim Varney died in like nineteen ninety-eight. No way. Yeah, yeah. He was so I'm young. Bad. What happened? Um, he, he got, was sick. He, got he older. was sick. Wasn't the snapping turtle didn't get him? See, I don't even understand that reference. Yeah, you ever saw Ernest goes to camp? You got to you got to be Vernon to understand that uh, one. You can't actually make Ernest references. I've never seen the film. You've never seen them? them? Okay, well, that's <laughs> a step. I've never seen a single one. Dude, Ernest scared stupid actually like traumatized me as a child. Oh no. There's like the the goblin that turns the kids into little statuettes and stuff like that is actually like lives rent free in my brain really it's just I one mean, of those everyone... i saw it at like the the right time or the wrong time to take it like way too seriously and it formed like some crystals in my brain that cannot break dan do you have a film that was like that in your childhood that was like maybe not necessarily meant to be traumatizing thousand, but had that thousand effect? percent if it comes on today, I cover my eyes during the one part of the movie. Oh, I know what Tell it them is. large Marge yeah. sent you. And, you go, blah, 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 and their eyes Ooh, come flying. Yeah. I can't even look at that as an adult Pee Wee's oh big adventure. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's mine uh, is uh, mine's Twister. Really? What happens in Twister? <laughs> like it's thankfully I, I am, I'm able to overcome it now, but it's just like the twisters man they're so big <laughs> it's so scary they, what do they do they can't go after that thing you gotta run yeah, away that they should throw you all around you would catch me driving away from the twister that's just yeah, me dude. though i mean it's just a, it's just air though it's fast air though yeah that's true that's wicked true. fast air i was not expecting you to be afraid of air bear i mean you learn something new about your friends every day right yeah very true very true I did, um, the other day, I, I, it was like a Friday night, I'm like, so I have a, two boys, seven and five, and a little girl, but anyways, I'm like, hey, it's a, they're appropriate age to watch uh, The Labyrinth with David Bowie. Oh, Bro, that's got, the time to traumatize them, yeah. <laughs> we got 15 minutes into that thing, and they were calling, Dad. they were pulling the ripcord, they're like, Dad, get me out of here. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's great, dude. dude. The stuff in the 80s, man, like the stuff yeah. we watched, it's, you know, it's scary, man. They were a little out of control with it back then. They didn't have the MPAA looking over their shoulder every freaking scene. Another terrifying movie. Have you guys ever seen Return to Oz? It's from the No. Oh, oh my God. It's it's like the sequel to Wizard of Oz. But there's this there's like the headless woman and she goes into this like huge museum and there's hundreds of heads. And they're all alive, and she takes them off and puts on different heads. It's like, and it's a kid's movie. Oh, my God. I know. it's. You should show it to your daughter. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a genius. He, he took the stairs. Oh, no, there was a little, uh, there was like a log I could move out of the way back there. 
I got the golden tooth. My attacks are uninterruptible now. Oh, that seems pretty good. Ooh. I'm taking the side path if you don't. Ooh, a little squeeze me. <laughs> as a kid, Twister was scary because they were portrayed as malevolent entities. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, maybe I thought the Twisters were sentient. I've never seen it. Is, are they like heat seekers? Like, I've never seen, like, I never saw like, a Twister. Well, actually, like, having just recently rewatched it at a, uh, while I was getting my hair cut, the, like, I think, like, <laughs> 75% or more of that movie is just driving. It's just like, they're not yeah. even necessarily like at the tornado yet. They're just like heading toward it. And they're like, we gotta go get the, we gotta chase this sucker down. Do they have and to defeat the tornadoes? Like what's the premise of the movie? I think it's Dark souls Yin. Yeah, I think they have to get, they, it's it's the, the great tornado of wrath. And I'm pretty sure they go up against it at some, no, I, I think they're just like trying to They're like scientists or something. Yeah, right? they're, they're, there's like, well, they're storm chasers in real life, and they're just like trying to get information from it, right? Like they're just trying to. Find Do they out defeat how fast the tornado? Do they like go inside of it and drop like a nuke and stop it or something? <laughs> I think they all die. Dan, you would really? love Marvel movies, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't remember the end. Uh -huh. I mean, we ruined this guy's life, man. Yeah, honestly, this is heroic. I feel like we could maybe even notch it up another level, dude. I think you might be right. We think we might be the greatest gangs of Sherwood players that exist. It helps when you got like a goaded Robin Hood, honestly, who's averaging I like say B it, tier. I figured you, uh, you, oh, you would. Ooh, watch out for the bees nest, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's satisfying. I wonder if the grapple is incorporated into moves at any point. That would be fun. Oh, the puppet string. <laughs> the big revelation at the end when they finally get their probes in there is, yep, it sure do be spinning real fast inside. <laughs> yeah, all right, that sounds about right. Twister is one of those movies like Jumanji that I think is just, for me, it will always be the movie where they're trying to sell you a sound system or a big screen TV at Best Buy, even though they probably haven't mm -hmm. done that for 30 years. Yeah. No, that, that is what the uh, movie began to feel like at a certain point. It was like, oh, this is just a Toyota commercial. <laughs> <laughs> just try to sell it. I mean, I, to this day, I still remember the Pepsi. So, obviously, they're doing something right. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, uh, Mr. Robin, can you... Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to kill the enemy hood, who killed you. Also, <laughs> as you move, it, it cancels my revive. Well, so much for the no downs, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I got one of the three beautiful flowers we were supposed to find. Oh, oh I got all three beautiful flowers. Oh. Uh, Dan, do you have a vault? Something worse. An elegant, I do. An elegant vault? You should... Oh, never mind. I guess we all do. Yeah, I guess it just doesn't work through that. Or maybe I can't fit through I think there. you just gotta... If you sprint into it, you can vault over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right. What's wrong with this There's guy? There's Bear's favorite actor. <laughs> what is that the haircut, woods? man? What's up? He's got like front <laughs> burns. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a front burn! You know, like sideburns, but on the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Holy. <laughs> oh boy. That was close. Oh no, not them. Here we go. We're on the planet of Endor. Doesn't that look like Endor esque? A little bit. Yeah. Now I'm just thinking about like what what are storm chasers actually after? The thrill, brother. It's like Yeah, we know it's fast, man. <laughs> Insurance monies? <laughs> it's all just a big scam. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not a C. It's minimum A. We're talking S. Never seen anything. Wee. John, 
Oh, they're they they're like the Paul Revere's of the weather. Whatever it is, it's bad news. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. Yo, that looks like the guy from Dark Souls. What's his name? Z with the Xanthanian hat. <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine what that means. <laughs> I know what he. I know what he's saying. Yeah, the the, the <laughs> xanthan <laughs> crown. <laughs> Yo, you can see the soul's inspiration in this game, man. All right. Well, this is a video game made after 2012, so he's right <laughs> about that. that. He's right about that. I love the beehive. That's that's a an excellent addition to combat. Bees be like. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting D's. I don't know if you're getting D's over there. Dude's straight up meditating at the battlefield. I mean, I guess you gotta That's get That's the your... one you gotta be most worried about. Are you I me? know. I'm terrified of the guy meditating in the middle oh. of the field of battle. Dude, we, we can make it. We can make it. Oh, this dude's got the goods? Okay, we gotta chase him down. I'm rushing him. Got his ass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Get back here. You got an icon over your head, Noink. dummy. <laughs> Why does it still have the icon? Uh, maybe we get it. Yeah. Oh, nah. He was just a head and hands for a second. There. <laughs> 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 Woo. Oh, I, f I found this fun it's new move, by the way, where I just slam my hammer into the ground repeatedly. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Get the big fella. He's oh, done. he's down. He's done. Kind of embarrassing. It's been like 40 minutes. I just got an achievement for get a headshot on an enemy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was pulling his punches the whole time. Oh, baby. I don't know about that, William. <laughs> William. Who's the most famous William in the world? There's a lot. Wallace. Wallace is up there. You know, Prince William. Uh, There's a lot. <laughs> William of York. William Smith? William Smith, go. for sure. <laughs> Are there that many Williams? There were. There's some Wills, sure, but... Oh, Shatner, yeah, I guess there's a... Dr. William. Is there any Williams in Marvel movies? Mm. The foe? True. That's Willem, though. Oh, yeah. Wait, his name not William? It's Come William on, Defoe. It's <laughs> Willem Defoe. What does this have to do with Austin? What? That I don't get. <laughs> Plus, since his last name is Austin oh. Willem. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that was... We go deep here. That's why I don't I get a lot of so. plus twos. I, uh, yeah. Because I'm not as close with my friends. <laughs> All right. Don't worry about William. He's oh, I just saw you. Oh, Will I am, I guess, has got a cow, right? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Flo Rida. Flo Rida. Oh. You'll never guess where he's from. Mm-hmm. Where did this boy go? He's under the bridge like Anthony oh, Kiedis. Saw, okay, here we go, yeah. I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna say that. I don't know how, but I knew you were gonna say that. Sometimes I. This boy is yeah. bouncy. Do you deal so much damage? Holy. Yeah, I, I'll ruin his life. <laughs> Ryan Gary, if, if the his local grocery store runs out of avocados. <laughs> <laughs> Me when my Peloton doesn't work because they wanted to break the Guinness World Record for uh, most people on a live spin ride on American Thanksgiving. Did it work? Did they break it? It broke for like 20 minutes. No, I mean, did they break the record? Oh, I don't know. I don't what care. It, who cares, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on the team. Why didn't you join? Because like, I was like... Because uh, I don't care? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like, it's going to break it. These zip lines are so safe, they don't even let you jump off early. Do you know you have to pay to have a Guinness Book of World Records 15 to 30 yeah, grand? It's a big freaking sham, dude. It made me mad when the more I found out about it. But I will say they're still uh, they're still pumping out those books because it was on my niece's Christmas list this year. 
Really? Guinness Book World Records 2024 book. She's got to stay updated, dude. You got to when you're a records. kid. That's like the information you need to know. It really is pretty sick when you're a kid. How big is I'm the largest ball honest. of elastic bands? Can can I help you and get her a better gift, Ryan? Sure. What is it? Just get her the internet. <laughs> wow. I don't know. It's I got, I got an almanac for you right here, honey. I would. You know, I, I think you were gonna say like the Farmer's Almanac 2024. <laughs> this is gonna be a great season for tomatoes. So this is, what, idea. is what, that uh, is that what that does? That predicts that stuff? I think it talks about the the weather for the upcoming year and what that portends for the harvest. Oh, I didn't but know But I think that. it's also kind of like a horoscope book. I'm pretty sure it's a book mm. of farming poetry. <laughs> what world record do y'all think you could contend for? Mm. I'm going to say um, long, longest, longest. Longest time. time to get to the satellite dish. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. Oh man. Man, I can I can hold a note for a while. Really? Yeah. Good, good lung capacity. Although I don't know how long I could. I feel like I could hold a note longer than I could hold my breath, which doesn't make any sense. But I'm gonna stand by it. I think you could probably hold your breath for like two minutes, man, if you had to. It'd be a long going. It. It'd I don't be know uncomfortable. What makes you say that about me, but I appreciate it. Two minutes seems long, but at the edge of like average human breath capacity. That's my yeah. that's my hypothesis. I mean, didn't David you, you Blaine hold minutes? it? Um, I think if it was life or death, I could do two minutes. Yeah. What about if you had to go 201? You'd just give in? Yeah, I'd probably just hold it for like two seconds and then be like, ice me. <laughs> it's not worth it anymore. It's too much. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not suffering for, you know, two minutes just to lose at the last second. <laughs> oh, I want the A, dude. I'm, I'm finally so close. Oh, come on. Give it to me now. Let me finish this guy. No, 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 I want the A. I want the A. I want the A. It's mine. It's mine. Give me. Oh! No, me combos keep me out of the fryer range. Oh, there's still guys. There's still guys. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're all right. Don't worry about it. I killed this guy. Did you? See? I just heard a, a grunt. No, it's those warlocks from World of Warcraft. What are those things called? Murlocs? I just heard that. Did you hear that? Did someone jump on the call and make a noise? I don't think so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you play a soundboard? No, it wasn't me. I like that he called it a sting. That's my radio days, dude. Oh, no. What kind I of got... radio? Did you do sports? What did you do? No, I was, it was college radio, so I was, uh, I, I did a show called The New Music Hour with oh. the music directors. It was fun. What bands did you discover? Like Weezer? Dude, I found, I, I, I stand by this to this day, I discovered Owl City. I found them before so anyone else did. You're the person we have to blame. I'm, I'm the initial, I heard Firefly, and I was like, oh, this is going to fucking blow up, dude. This is going to be on the radio. Everyone's going to know this song in like a month. Who's Owl City? They are like a Who? pop. Uh, I'll take Ooh. a thousand Ooh. hugs from 10,000 lightning, lightning bugs. bugs. Ooh. Who's out? Who? to teach me how to... I get Who? it, Dan. I get it. <laughs> we all get it. <laughs> I was waiting for the plus two as a chat. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, so you heard it. Did, did, were they on your campus or something? Uh, no, they sent the uh, album in to the station, and then we actually uh, were going to interview them. Uh, well, it's just the one guy, but uh, we were going to interview him, um, and then he, like, it was like two weeks before uh we were scheduled to do an interview with him he blew the fuck up like he was like he was Is nothing he okay? and then that song came i, I don't know he's, <laughs> he's gone <laughs> my apologies again was it like an accident or sure <laughs> my enthusiasm in the f word but um he uh all of a sudden like we, that show sold out and he didn't have time anymore for the the poor little college radio kids who want to uh, have a sit down with him because he, he was the most popular artist on the planet uh, basically overnight what was, was the name wild. of your radio station KBAR. KWCR. kwcr i wish it was that 
KWCR 88.1 Weber FM, Ogden's radio station. Holy. So, did you say Weeb FM? Weber. Weber oh. State. Oh, oh, I got you. The, uh, the Tartans. Weber State Tartans. They're purple and yeah, white, yeah. right? Yeah, you, that's actually That's, right, yeah. dude, come on. What? What are they, like the What's 303rd up? best team in the nation? How do you know what their, <laughs> what their team mascot is? actually kind of crazy, yeah. <laughs> well, Weber does have, like, a couple of notable alumni, like Damian Lillard's from Weber. Oh! And, uh, there's, like, a couple of NFL receivers, too. I didn't know that. I played NCAA football growing up back when they had, like, every team in it. So, like, you just memorized that stuff. Because it yeah. matters, you know? Yeah. I'm going to get a couple of new skills, dude. Holy Same upper. here. Wow! Grapple hook strike, yes! Uh, I was hoping so. I'll also take this moment to, again, thank uh, Nakon for the sponsorship for all three of us. We're playing Gangs of Sherwood. It came out today. PS5, Xbox, PC, then Dan knows the platforms. He can fact check me on that one. Uh, all true. Co-op, Vermintide style, wave-based combat. A little bit of, you know what it reminds me of? A little Gauntlet Legends. To Ooh, drop sure, like a 27-year-old yeah. reference, you know? You got the same foundational layer for every character, then some slight differences between them that, you know, allows you to play to their strengths and their, their synergies. Go check it out, exclamation point Sherwood Dude. or exclamation point G-O-S in Bear's chat. Thank you. Uh, no full agree with the comparison. Also, all-time great arcade cabinet. Wizard requires more food. I know what you're saying. Eats food badly. <laughs> Tuck creates a copper dust cloud that sticks to enemies when fully charging a light attack. That seems cool. This dude will uh, upgrade your skills as well over here, the guy I'm talking to. All right. Let's go. Oh, I think you have to choose the mission, You said Ryan. copper dust. You unlocked the memory when I was a kid. There was a kid who was two years older than me. And mm -hmm. in grade school, he was like, like the cool kid. And uh, one day he wasn't at school and um, I said, hey, you know, where's I'll just throw his name out there. Where's Brian at? And the teacher goes, well, he got injured. I go, what did he get doing injured? He's like, well, he went after school, he went into his garage, <laughs> took a vice grip, put a battery in it and beat it with a baseball bat. <laughs> and, <this> <laughs> and dust exploded everywhere. <laughs> What the hell, man? <laughs> so, oh, sorry, man. Like, when was this? This was like <laughs> nine like grade school, and uh, then I just, oh, I, I just, I just visualized him like being the microwave glow stick kid. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. but it's a true story. He ended That's up being insane. okay, but. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> Don't do well, that now, at home. Sorry, I mean, you now, said copper dust. I know what'll oh, happen. Oh man. Yeah, that's 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 a great connection. <laughs> oh. I remember like I had a friend in 10th grade science class. We had a substitute teacher and we were on those like lab benches with the sinks and the outlets. He took a yeah. copper wire and like stripped the rubber uh, protector off of it and then just shoved the end of the copper wire into the outlet. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Uh, like a fountain of sparks came out of the outlet and like scattered on the floor. And he jumped like three feet in the air, but the teacher didn't notice. I just remember Holy being like, cow. I almost, saw a kid just die yeah in class for no reason god that's like i feel like that's among the worst <laughs> things you can shove in i don't know what there. he was thinking man <laughs> oh, oh that's wild what did, did you what did you say to him after <laughs> well, i think i said why did you do that he just went like i don't know <laughs> oh, oh man Doing some science, man. He didn't know what would happen. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been paranoid. I've been like, I'm, I'm very careful around outlets because I've seen the power that's, you know, like one nanometer past the entrance. You just got to sprint into it, Dan. Big dash? Just oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah thanks. there you go. You got it. Oh, man. I got, I got some new combos to use this time, dude. Oh, same oh, here. Oh, that was fun. Oh, yeah. I like it. 
<laughs> the teacher? What was the teacher doing? Oh, they were they were a sub, man. So they were just fighting for their life. <laughs> that sounds like a sub day, yeah. <laughs> dull? Dull? I was shooting explosive arrows. How could that be dull? Have you seen the kid since he did that? Oh, yeah, for like the next two years of high school. He didn't really have any like lasting effects from it. He can shoot lightning bolts out of his hands now, but that's I mean, about who it. can it really, you know? <laughs> oh, man. You guys as kids or maybe even possibly as adults ever stand in the shower and let the water run down your arm and pretend you're firing it out of your fingers? Oh, yeah, it's a classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my superpower. Until my mom bangs on the door. Hey, what are you doing in there? You're wasting the water. I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Why do you think he stripped the wire? Why did he just stick the wire in the hole? Why did I he don't know the what was going through his brain. To be honest with you, I think that he was having... He was going through it, man. Is there a path down this way? Oh, we got a pole. Oh, uh, it's one of those pole situations. Yeah, pole this here, sucker. Waving your hand at an automatic door like you have the force. Oh, yeah, classic moment. Ryan, does Melf know this guy? Yes. I don't know. I can't remember if he was in my class in this one, though. But Melf does know this guy. I'll tell Melf who it was, and he'll be like, okay. that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he'll hit me with the vouch. Why would a village so I just want to know what this guy's doing now. I think it's just, you know, as a kid, you sort of just go crazy now and then. Oh, yeah. Well, I was, I'm trying to think of, like, one of the dumbest things that I've done as a child. All I can really think of is, like, we would throw pencils up into the ceiling at school. It's cause they had, you ever like, get in a... trouble? Yeah. Well, I didn't like it, but we just kept doing it. Or, like, we would play tackle football as grade school children, and they were obviously like, don't play tackle, don't play, like, <laughs> full contact tackle football. And we would be like, okay. And then they would leave, and then we would keep doing it. And so eventually they took the footballs, and so we would play with a Gatorade bottle. But we'd still tackle, damn it. What the heck was that? Someone just went ulto mode. Sicko mode? Who took Dan? Did you take that? Take what? You. <laughs> what? Take what? <laughs> So you think the dumbest thing you did was like throw pe uh, pencils into a ceiling? I, I did something dumber than that. It's just the only thing that's occurring to me right now. Like I wasn't, I wasn't a dumb kid. I was just a bad kid. Like I was just, like, I was always skipping school and like being mean to the teachers because I sucked. Really? Yeah. I you were was, mean I was, to teachers? I was mean to teachers and like I would like give them shit and they would have to send me out of the hall. I was a bad kid. Like what would you do to them? I would just like. Like refuse to take them seriously and just like I, like I wasn't being clever, I was like I was giving them the kind of sass that you would expect from a middle schooler, and then they would just get tired of me. It's just like it, I I wish I could make it more entertaining than it is. It just it reflects <laughs> on me very poorly, and that like I was just like the worst. At that age, at period. that age, yeah. yeah. Were, you, were you just bored? Do you think you're bored or just didn't like? School? I mean, that's the friendly way to say it. I think I just sucked. <laughs> like, I really think I just needed a, a an attitude correction yeah i mean this it's the age right yeah uh, it's just being a middle schooler i substitute taught like every grade you know like kindergarten all the way up yeah. i would i would not step into a middle school like it like it is it, it's it's the toughest man it the is worst yeah. Yeah. yeah like the elementary school kids at least you can kind of give them like a pass on the innocence right and they're like, scared like, like if you're yeah. like we're gonna call your parents they're like oh i'm gonna start acting right yeah but the middle schoolers like they just have middle schoolers are like awareness. my dad works overseas anyway he's more powerful <laughs> than you yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how do we get over there, by the way? Oh, it's just I me? Ryan's... Yeah, oh, we might have to take this zip, Dan. I got a uh, door right here. There. Oh, there you go. Okay, sick. He, he said, taste my blade! 
Bear, did you ever get suspended? Um, I got detention quite a bit. Okay. I so think... you were like a bad, like bad is like suspension. Yeah, so no, I think I was, just like, I, was, I was Mormon bad. You know, like I, I, I was what I thought uh, bad was, I not like that. an actual bad kid. Brewed um, beverages. But... What's that? Brewed beverages. Oh, you know it. Holy. In I'm middle sip. school, you drank? I was sipping Lipton, brother. I was. No, uh, that's scandalous. Coming at me. But you drank alcohol in middle school, bear? No, I'm saying Lipton oh. iced tea, man. Oh. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't drink alcohol until I was like 24. Oh. I've destroyed one of the barrier generators. Did you guys ever do anything dumb as a kid? Like, did you get into trouble in school? I feel like Ryan never did, but I feel like no, Dan might have. I definitely uh, did. You did? Oh, okay. Well, like Scandalous. it's Dan knows uh, this one already, but I was homesick from school one day, and then like the next day I skipped to recess. This is the third grade. I skipped yeah. to recess in order to like catch up on the work that I missed from the day that I was sick, um, and I was just eating like the lunch that my mom packed for me. There were some wheat thins, and I decided to just be a dickhead to the other kid in class who had behavioral problems. <laughs> That's why he was inside a recess. I remember I said like, hey, Kenny, do you want these wheat thins? And he was like, yeah. And I said, well, go get them. And then I just pitched him into the garbage can. <laughs> and then he was justifiably in hindsight, a little bit offended by that. Um, yeah. And he took it upon himself to uh, like tackle me, and I got knocked out of my chair and onto the floor, and then we were fighting. And then I remember being like dumbfounded that I got in trouble too. Yeah. I, like the the principal was like, "You're both in trouble," and I was like, "I didn't do anything." <laughs> I I remember this story now, but I uh, very much enjoyed hearing it again because it's very good. It's a classic for me. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, one of the Dan, stories of all time. Story too, right? Um, I don't have a wheat thin story. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I was, when Ryan was telling me, I was trying to think of like bad stuff I've done. Yeah. But none of it's like, I was just scared to get in trouble. I'd say like one of my favorite memories. I wasn't the one doing the bad stuff, but I was in computer class in middle school, and there's this kid named George. And we had Apple uh, Macintoshes, not the ones with the green screen, but like the small white Macintoshes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were speakers, and George figured out how to do text-to-speech, but this is like in the mid-90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, would, you, would turn, you would turn the speakers, and our teacher was probably like 60, 65. It was like hard of hearing. So he'd, he would turn the speakers all the way up, and he would type in obscene words, and then do the, the Apple TTS. Oh, and then the guy guy his name was uh mr myers he would he would go around the entire classroom yelling at everyone trying to find <laughs> whoever did the tts that's incredible yeah but i didn't do that i was i was laughing the whole time Man, speaking of just being a bad kid too like i straight up like so many teachers like in the in the days where they were just beginning to like make the transition over to digital record keeping mm -hmm. like they didn't realize that the kids had like some level of awareness of how that stuff worked too so many of them would just leave their computers completely unattended with like the grading software just like sitting open on the desktop <laughs> i changed my own grade in like four classes Holy. through the course of junior day. <laughs> like, that's fraud i just went in the dice straight up just changed it yeah because it was just sitting right there but I, i'll tell you this as a former teacher I bet you never got caught. I, w I would never like yeah, double check no, rate. Dude, I, yeah, I had that thought as a child. I was like, they're not gonna know. They don't like. They don't have a memory of this. They trust the software. They trust their record keeping to have what they wrote down. As long as you didn't get greedy, you didn't give yourself a yeah. hundred. Yeah, you know, I wasn't going like F to A. I was like, it was like D to B or something like that. You know, the ones that are at least like, especially if I were to think of it in terms of like physically writing in the lines to change the grade you know like i did i have respect for my uh forefathers of cheating the system so i i kept it modest what made you think to do that like it was the just like yeah, I, mean, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I, I walked past my teacher's desk and i saw that the grading software was open and i was like oh 
<laughs> so basically you're like, hey, the teacher was just asking for it. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a little too easy view. Oh, there was also a, a class where the teacher um, typed in. So they, it was a, I think it was like a keyboarding or like a computer class. One of those really early, just like basics of computing stuff. And uh, the teacher leaned over and accidentally typed her master password into the username field oh, no, on my no, PC no. <laughs> one time. So <laughs> later that day, I checked to see if she had changed it. Of course, she hadn't changed it. And so for the rest of that year, I had full access to the teacher's master account and like all the assignments where I was just like, dude, I, I did it a lot now that I think about it, because for that entire class, too, like, I would just go in, get the assignment, finish the finished version, and just turn that in, because it was sitting right there. I, I wasn't a good student. I'm not a good role model for You should have at least gotten behavior. good grades in, like, the tech class then, because you were hacking. Well, that was the tech class, yeah, yeah but, like, I, I, got, I mean, I, if she had learned what I had done, maybe she would have respected it enough to give me, yeah, like, a, at least a passing merit i am gonna die by the way i am really low. yeah like one i got a sliver of hp i think let me try to stay alive i wouldn't worry too much about amory of nottingham yeah the bosses haven't <laughs> been too threatening so far there he goes holy did you steal the kill do you I steal did. the kill <laughs> shot i jumped in there and got the last hit yeah This way? They'd be loving tears are manufactured in that place. This means we'll find more than enough explosive ammo to blast Gisborne's cannon to Kingdom Come. Speaking of Kingdom Come. You do have none red in your health yeah. bar. Yeah, it's all <laughs> empty. Oh, but it was a checkpoint. Ooh, very timely. Just stand here for a second. Look at that. Do you think it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Do you think if I gave you guys a shovel in five years, you could find. Any kind of gemstone within a mile radius of where you live? This is a phenomenal question. I have absolutely no idea. You're basically yeah, asking really... me, do I do I think that there's rubies it's under my house? <laughs> In a one mile radius. I, I'm going to say no. I don't think I could find a gemstone with a shovel. In Wait, five years? Get, oh, five five years. years? Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. I think it would have to be a concerted effort, though. I don't think I could just be like... For an hour a day, passively shoveling yeah. me, like, eh, you know, not today, but maybe tomorrow. Like, I gotta get like a mine set up. I gotta, I gotta get like carts and tracks and stuff. Like, it, it would be Minecraft for five years. But let me ask: Do you think one exists? I think there is a gemstone within probably like a ten-mile radius of my home. Yeah, I feel like that's a safe bet. What's the like? spawn rate of gemstones are they like all over the place in the world or i thought they were rare and that's why they were valuable you gotta go down at least 80 meters before you find diamonds i know well you get diamonds at, at y equals 12 i know that oh, that's right. what i was gonna ask what is what is the real life y <laughs> there's a difference between precious and semi-precious i was getting a little too too rich for my blood dude you know someone in chat is a gemologist you know that they have one of those like circle things that they put rocks in with soap and then turns them into like gems you know what i'm talking about i think that just washes the rock but it makes the rocks look like gems that is true it does make and, rocks look like gems and sometimes there's gems in the rocks right is that why they do it isn't that oh, why tumblers, like it's right? hard yeah. to get it because like when you you don't find like a big ruby you just find like a bunch of dust and then you have to I don't know. Well, you have enough ruby dust and you, and you combine it into a single ruby gem. With a smelter and yeah. a blast <laughs> furnace. You know how that stuff works. Maybe a little bit of redstone. Dude, that guy went from 75% to zero with that move. He just scooted off. <laughs> Holy. Oh, he might have just ran. Yeah, okay, apparently. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a draw to this direction. Oh. Oh, well, there's a small pile of money. That's why. Okay, there we go. <laughs> His loot senses are tingling. Ryan Gary's enlarged brain. First time chatter. 
<laughs> they probably what? got banned from my stream. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're searching for refuge. <laughs> I want to take the zip line. I want to take the zip line. I think that's a one way, brother. Oh. That's a big sucker. Imagine They're a mat tornado came out right now. <laughs> Bear, get behind me. <laughs> terrifying, dude. Yeah, yeah, help me. I'm gathering some coins for the resistance. Here, take this. I mean, they're generous with the checkpoints even, too. Well, we're generous with the checkpoints because we're donating the spoils of stealing from the rich to the to the populace. True that. Where's my flashlight? So true. So true. Oh, we'll get ready to pull. Oh, that's a boss arena. Oh, maybe not, actually. Sorry, my brain's still trying to find out a joke for Get Ready to Pull. It was like me when I'm the master of the hunt and the Lord wants to practice his skeet shooting. No? Okay, I, well, just, we'll keep working on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, there was a big revelation here. I've just learned that I can pick up enemies and throw them at other enemies. Oh, so this seems pretty important oh. here. Have you guys got an A combo yet? Uh, uh, yeah, I got one. I'm desperately trying to get there. Brave. Me uh, announcing my very favorite Disney Pixar film. See, I like it, but I think if you had said like my eighth favorite Pixar film, I you know what I appreciate. Harder. That's a constructive critique. Yeah, thank you. Because, I mean, you're dealing with Up, you're dealing with Wally, -E, Toy Stories, uh, 1 and maybe 2. I'm just, maybe I'm out there with it, you know? Like, mm -hmm. whose favorite Pixar film is Brave? You don't That's hear true. that It's very pretty much. rare. Ratatouille. I forgot about Ratatouille. Dude, okay, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to change it to second favorite. Yeah, I don't want to be dishonest. Is Wally -E more of an adult movie? Because... Whenever I ask my kids to watch it, they hit me with Resident Sleeper. They said it's Dude, boring. Wally -E is depressing. Like, uh -huh. it might be one of the most depressing Pixar movies that exists. It's like a, a disturbingly accurate representation of our future. Mm, I think Wally's -E mm -hmm. pretty fun. <laughs> cute, cute old robot. Robot gets a wow. little sad. From, he goes, Wally. -E. Yeah, he says his name yeah. all the time. I do like it when he says his name, Wally. -E. I like when Wally says Wally and Wally's everywhere. <laughs> I saw Up for the first time about a year ago. Really? That's, like, that's a good movie. That's an all timer, dude. I love Up. Pixar's got hands. They've been they've been slipping a little bit, but they, also they've true. got a catalog that they can eternally bank on. The problem is they have to make a billion dollars with every movie. So now, right. like anytime you see a Pixar movie and it doesn't have a two or a three or a four at the end of it, you know you got a chance to see something that's a truly revolutionary piece of cinema. Yeah. If it's Don't a watch sequel, Lightyear? no, I, and I never will. Yeah, me neither. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Although initially I, I thought I would be excited about it, which is, it, it's telling, I suppose, that when I saw the trailer, I thought to myself, oh, I bet I'll be excited about this instead of, oh, I'm excited about this. I sort of don't get it. Like Buzz Lightyear is a toy, and then the Lightyear movie is like, the toy is based on a TV show, but the movie is what if the TV show was real, kind of. Yeah. Like the I mean, movie can, is like it's a TV that. show, but like it's, you can do that cycle infinitely, I suppose. I mean, like which is probably what they were aiming for, right? It's just it, it's just too many layers of abstraction for me. I'm with you. Oh, we are actually escorting the. We are pushing now. the cart. All right, yeah. all right, let's do it. <laughs> this is your job, buddy. Godspeed. I know it's a big gun. Alright. Dan, how's your character treating you? Little John working out pretty well? Yeah, he's... 
he's a good unga bunga. He good yeah. he good smash, good combos. You getting those A ranks over there? You're clearly doing them pretty good. I think we need to crank the difficulty a little bit. You know, I, I don't want to right. flex on everyone, but I yeah, checked and this is as high as it goes for now. Really? Huh? I guess we're just too good at games. That's what people always say. Yeah, every time. They're always like, you guys are really good at video you games. You guys make these games look way too easy. Alright, now I am hucking this man at the other man. Oh, the third man stopped it. All right. I feel like this is my best A opportunity in a moment, and I'm squandering it. Me in gym class. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Open parentheses. I don't want to run anymore. Close parentheses. Dude, as unathletic as I was for the most part as a child, I loved the cargo net, and I was always so good at climbing the cargo net. Cargo net. I feel it's like American net. gym class is built different. We didn't have a cargo net. You didn't have a cargo net? No, what's a cargo net? That's just when you got like, it's just like netting on the side of a ship, but like utilized as, in a similar similar way as like a rope. You just climb up it. Did you have rope? I had rope. We had rope, yeah, but uh, I also am coming to realize now that the cargo net might have only existed in like one of the schools that I grew up in. Mm. I went to like five or six elementary to junior high schools and there was only one that had a cargo net, now that I think about it. it must be kind of uncommon. We had a, a gym. Uh, and then the only thing that I think is very relatable is that our gym teacher was insanely protective of the floor. <laughs> it was like, no matter yeah. what you did, it was like, it was going to scuff the floor. And I'm like, well, they should start holding gym class in like the music room or something like that. Because apparently we're not allowed to do anything. Right. Like gym so shoes? That? I didn't say that. I just did the push-ups. But if your gym <laughs> shoes are going to scuff the gym floor, we got to talk about, you know, the kind of resurfacing we need to do here to make this a functional situation for everybody. Uh, uh, this is a perfectly cromulent point. Thank you. He didn't see it that way. He just said more push-ups. More push-ups. Well, you know what he would do at the start of every gym class? He would pick a kid and say, pick a number between 1 and 10, right? Or 1 and 20. Yeah. And then whatever you said, that's how many laps everybody had to run, how many push-ups <laughs> and crunches and jumping jacks everybody had to do. But so, Okay, so they knew that, though. When, when the kid was being chosen, that kid knows what's up, right? Yeah, but then they changed the meta, bro, because... Like after four days of gym class, we were like, just say like three, just say three. And then yeah, the yeah. dude put 30 up on the board. He was like, <laughs> it was like his 28th year teaching gym class. He'd probably seen that trick before. Yeah, he knows what's up. They changed Look, the being equation a on you. Being, being a former teacher and one who taught gym, like that's not meant to be disparaging, but gym teacher, like you got to talk about like chill jobs, bro. Come on. Roll a couple balls into a gym. Yeah. <laughs> you were into it? Our, at our school, no. you had to, like, the, the girls and the boys shared a gym. So they did that thing where they put the two nuclear keys in the wall and turn it, and then the <laughs> folding wall comes out. <laughs> but then, like, for two months straight, they just, the girls got the gym every day, so they kept taking us to the weight room. And we, like, every day, we were, like, begging our teacher, like, we, we're sore, dude, we're sore, come on, can we just play, like, some kickball or something? Why do the girls get the gym every day? We got, like, lactic acid. It's intuitive to muscle growth, yeah. man. You're not it is! Period, yeah, for real. All right, this looks like it may actually be... Well, never mind. Yeah, we're, we're starting to just decimate him immediately. I think I'm just not realizing, too, I have, like, a Kingdom Hearts-esque life bar where it goes, like, green to yellow to red. Is is y'all similar? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I just noticed that. I would have been content as a kid if gym class for six years was nothing but dodgeball. It's the best oh. game. Dude, I all I ever wanted to do is dodgeball and basketball. Like if, if gym class was that, I was oh. I, I was in heaven. I'm down, laddie. Do they have adult dodgeball? 
They should. That's a market that's just asking to be harvested. Dan, can I get a res? I'm right behind you. Yeah, let me work out. Let me get a few punches in first. You were standing right next to me two seconds ago. <laughs> I had to get, I had to get, I had to get my my B grade up. Okay, no, I think we may actually have a have a legit threat here now. Frank, you stop moving. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'm moving. I'm not moving. Not. Thank you, thank you. Oh, come on. What's the shield even for? He's a genius. Okay. This is new. That's all you, right? Ooh, phase two. Yep. No sweat. Start off the dodgeball league there. I think I might have a new business venture. Yeah, dude. I feel like dodgeball is a sport you really can't get hurt in, you know? Yeah. Like as oh. Your pride, maybe. I yeah. Mean, oh, it, it is nutshot city if you omit that, but... <laughs> Just yeah, don't get was... hit. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh my god, giant fireballs. Lads, I'm crawling to safety, but I'm going to need a res. Oh boy. All right, coming. I'll, I'll get him oh, if you... You got it, you got it. Yeah, you, go. You pull aggro. Get over here, buddy. This is where this is where oh, you need to be. You. Thank you. Oh boy. I'm, oh, I can't <laughs> move fast enough. He's he's got hands. It's no joke. He's legit. I will say also, I maybe this is just my school. I felt like gym class was the most unfair class, because no matter what I did. Like the, the odds. Oh, I, I'm. You're, you're being very polite, but I gotta resurrect you. Yeah. Oh no, no, I don't. Oh. That's, never mind. Oh, oh, oh boy. Like there was nothing I could have done to get a 100 in gym class. I just wasn't blessed with the, you know, the the 40 yard dash time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Same. What do you mean? You didn't get hundreds in gym? No, it's like no matter what I did in gym class. If I if I tried, if I didn't try, I think my teacher just based his grade on my natural athleticism. Oh, give me, give me, give me! I got you, I got you. So I was always at like a like an 82. Oh no, this is too hot over here, dude. We gotta move this way. Ryan, you gotta get aggro. I, I don't know how to do that. Oh no. Okay, okay. It's uh, Ryan on a sliver. It's alright. I'm gonna die too. I have a brief window. Get him, get him. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. I, I, only my toe was on it. Oh wait, I thought Dan rezzed at the last second there. Mm. All right, oh well. Return to Major Well, we've Oak been humbled or, a little, huh? Return to Major Oak or retry mission. Riz, who's Major Oak? Oh, that's the hub world. That's Professor Oak's son. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I guess we got to retry the mission then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to respect this boss. Actually coordinate. <clears throat> but then I was also like, maybe that's just how the rest of school is for kids who are not like naturally inclined for math. They're probably like, I'm working 10 times harder than the kid who's naturally good at math. And yet I'm getting like a 68 in geometry class. That doesn't seem fair. Yeah. Sherwood is out of trouble for now. Dude, you know what they, um, you know what they end way too early in school is, uh, in gym class doing big parachute day. Mm, oh, yeah. I feel like it'd yeah. be just as beneficial for high schoolers as it is for elementary school students. Have a, have a period, have an hour where y'all just sit under the parachute and make each other feel nice. How about skip that hour but have me show up for school at 9 15 instead of 5 22 in the morning that was also quite a bit of my uh, bad behavior as a uh, high schooler was just refusing to wake up on time yeah bro you're just tired yeah man it's too, I uh, i'm an early guy and that's too period. early like that's yeah, dude and then they no got you Jones in be... for lunch starting at like 10 35 like yeah, it's it's, nutty. it's like a war crime I don't think high school should start before the sun comes up. That doesn't even seem like outlandish. They have you. They're teaching you algebra 
at like 7 17 a.m like what are we doing mm -hmm. it's crazy any of this, dude. <laughs> most people Seven, are not at their best yeah 7 17 just trying to get some isaac in you know yeah. what i'm saying plus two <laughs> I'm maybe starting to see why your chat they, doesn't yeah, like exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Got a different relationship with it, maybe. Because you just you don't tell a joke. You just say a sentence and then say plus two. Over here. Pleading That's emoji. The joke. Yeah, That's the right. joke. I get it. It's not one of those jokes that hits you in the face. It's one of those that hits you five minutes down the road. Mm. Sure. Um. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> We both zipped at the same time, and then your robust thorax uh, bumped me into the river. I, 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 that's, uh, that's my college nickname. Oh, man. POV, you are an insect. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I'm just burning. That was bad. Be over careful. I had PT at 7 a.m. as a freshman. That just doesn't seem ideal. I know, it's crazy. Did I ever tell you that like, the first day of high school, like, I got on the school bus from my house at, like, I don't even know, like 6.45 a.m.? Dude, same, yeah. School started at, uh, oh, I'm, I'm trapped. I don't yeah. know, I don't know if there's anything we can do about this. Keep your help oh, me. No. Oh, God. <laughs> sire, sire, help me. Uh, can I like shove you out of there? Or? I. Oh, that's that's bad news. Yeah. Did he glitch? Can you walk through? Oh, oh fuck! Now I'm stuck. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, no, okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm Wait, well, oh, I think I'm getting some purchase here, or maybe just the camera's moving. Come on, let's set him free. Set my boy free. Guys, I think we got to go back to Major Oak. At least the mission just started. Yeah. Nah, that's fine. Maybe we'll have something to spend, too. But I um, I got on the bus at 6.45. School started at 8.15. The bus showed up at the school at 8.20. So I walked into period, <laughs> period one gym class, and the teacher was like, why are you late? And I was like, oh, the, like, the bus was late and he said yeah like okay nice excuse but don't let it happen again i'm like brother i'm like 13 years old and i came here from 40 kilometers away like what do you it's not my con I, I can't make him go any faster where were you living 40 kilometers that's yeah, like an hour drive ride, dude. We, were, we were out there in the in the sticks man it's a, mm -hmm. a testament that there was even like a bus that would get us there wasn't a closer high school this was the closest high school you live in America, you know what it's like. Yeah, there's high schools everywhere. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Well, uh, when there's houses yeah. everywhere, <laughs> when your closest neighbor is like a kilometer away, you know, extrapolate you, you that out in, into a circle. What did you grow up on? Three, America. Did you grow up on 300 acres and a couple of frogs or what? I, did, I grew up on eight <laughs> acres, not 300 eight? acres. What were you doing out there? What, what, I, I didn't buy the house, man. I was a little kid. But what were you doing, raising <laughs> sheep? I was mostly farm just farm animals. A couple of frogs out there. There's some deer <laughs> back there sometimes. I didn't know you were a, a rural Andy. I, I only talk about it every time you ask. No, <laughs> you said you grew up and your fun was going on top of your grandma's gravel pit. Yeah, you you, you live in a, <laughs> you're not living in downtown Kingston, you know, with a with a huge gravel pile that's like 30 feet high on your front lawn. Wait, what did you do for fun on eight acres as a kid? I climbed on top of the gravel pile and slid down on the magic carpet. <laughs> I voted to skip I, as much Me as, as well. I like the wooden puppets. Puppets. Wait, what kind of stuff went down? I was never allowed to nothing go on the bus. Went and... <laughs> well, nothing went down. Nothing went down on the bus. Whenever I asked him, can I go on the bus today? I was always, no, something was going down on these buses and I need to know now. What, what, do, you, was, what like, do you mean? There... They, who were you asking to get on the bus? <laughs> my you parents the bus? your parents said no. you can't take the school bus no they drove me to school every day huh this is 
That's crazy. Why, they they thought that nefarious ac activities were constantly going down on the bus, and so well, they didn't allow you to. No, uh, maybe because I went to Latchkey before school. Maybe the bus didn't run that early. Ah. Uh, but I always took it as I wasn't allowed to go on. But what kind of stuff was going on in the bus? But I know there had some stuff had to be going down. Usually there'd be like one kid um, like using a lighter to burn an impression of the lighter into the back of the seat. Yep. And I don't know if you guys had the same thing, but like there were people on my school bus that were just like merciless to our bus driver. Who was really no, <laughs> dude. just doing Actually, his job and also like keeping us all alive. We had like a lovely, wholesome relationship with our bus driver as kids. See, that's like, great. The, ki the kids were shitty, but they knew not to disrespect Frank. Because everybody loved Frank. And he was such a nice guy. And he hardly said a word. But we would get off the bus and be like, bye, Frank. And he like, bye. And that's the whole relationship is just saying hi and bye to Frank. But it was just like, everyone loved him. It See, was that's great. that's great. But we like, not we, like I wasn't involved, but I would just cover my head mm -hmm. and like hope to not be the target myself, right? Yeah. But then like, they, he would get into like screaming matches between the, the bus driver and like high school <laughs> oh, students. Terrible. And you're Jeez. like, man, this is just not a good situation here. Oh, I hate that. What would the kids do to the bus driver? They just make fun of him, call him bad names <laughs> and stuff, and then... Why are you laughing? Because it's ridiculous to think back. It's a hostile work environment, bro. This dude is literally keeping us all alive, and people on the bus are, like, trying to goad him into having an emotional breakdown. There was never, like, yeah, we, nothing happened on the buses, dude. Like, they, well, buses have the same thing as the cafeteria where there's, like, clicks to the seating. I don't know if y'all had a similar experience. Oh, like, yeah, always, yeah, like, yeah, You know, you got your different groups in different sections. Lord cool help kids you in if the you back. have to sit with the little kids at the front of the bus right, when you're, like, yeah. 15. You're exactly. sitting with seven-year-old kids. You're like, oh, man, I'm never going to recover from this. Mm -hmm. They're Ryan, asking you. Never, you <laughs> Ryan, you never lobbed a few names. At the I bus swear, <laughs> dude. I'll, uh, I, uh, you know, I'll hit you with the. Do you you want these, Kenny? Go get them. Like I, I, I did some of that. But I never talked back to the bus driver. He had enough like going on, man. Between just shifting into park randomly, just to frick with him. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even know how to shift the gears on a. I don't know how on to a bus, bus, honestly. I think I could probably manage the door. Oh. oh! I don't know why it's always so loud, exhausting. It's like opening a hydraulic door on the bus. <laughs> it happens all the time. I don't understand. Like, what's going on? Oh, oh yeah. Beats me. the payload again. Did you ever bring the bus driver treats, like cookies? On Christmas, my parents would give them, like, a, I don't know, like a gift certificate or something. That's to nice. wear. I don't know, probably some business that went under like 27 years ago. <laughs> also, yes. I, I will say, I feel like I never mastered the bus window. Oh. You know, oh, it's, those, it's a mythical object. Yeah, it, those like there's, you got to no. click both of the sides. Dan, you wouldn't know about this because you weren't allowed to be in this environment. But this is what you were missing. No, it's, I've been on an athletic bus. Oh, OK. Same thing. It's got like the yeah. two little sliders you got to hit at the same time. Yeah, you got to pinch and squeeze. Never my area of expertise. I just learned how to tolerate the heat a little better, I guess. Uh, you never opened them? Windows. I think I opened them, but you would get some that are like old and rickety. If you got like a new one, it was always like click. Tzz. If you got an old one, it was like best of luck, brother. That's really the experience we're having with this uh, house we got here in Utah. They they replaced all the windows before we moved in, and oh my god, the difference between an old and a new window. Oh, they they man. function. It's amazing. We can we can view the outside world. Wait, what happened to your? I thought you were gonna say they were like squeaky or something, but you couldn't look outside of your old windows. Well, the other th thing about our uh, old other house was the fact that not only did the windows uh, not work half the time, but there was also just like brick walls surrounding us everywhere. Oh, okay. So there, well. was, there was no outside <laughs> world to be viewed. I was like, is that bus what happens driver, to windows? Bus driver is one of the more underappreciated jobs. Also one of the more underappreciated rappers. 
me when I'm busted. Let that one hang, that's fine. I, well, here's the thing, you know, I know I... I went through a bus driver phase myself, and I was like, I, I remember where he lost me. It was uh, when he had that song that was like him rapping along to Dude, classical Dude, I know exactly music. the one he's talking about. And even as like a, I don't know, I was like 19. I was like, yeah. this is a little corny, man. Like It is, but it's also <laughs> adorable. It's impressive. I was like, he's talking really fast. Wait, who's bus driver? He's, he's a, a rapper. rapper. What's his famous song? He doesn't have one. It's, uh, well, what is oh. that song that he raps over, though? What's that one called? I don't Where know. That's the one. Is it like cringe core? No. Oh, okay. That song is a little <laughs> silly. Like, it's... I think that's it's, fair. Like, it's just... It's, it's, it's a goof in my mind. His other music is not that though. He's well. He's also like kind of like a an abstract rapper. Like he's he's not really like radio rap. My house is just middle class, and every week I have to cut the grass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have to work hard every day, so I have the money to go out and play. He's spitting, dude. <laughs> Wait, hey, Ryan, oh, right. grow yeah, what, what's the song? Uh, Ryan, take that giant flaming barrel and huck it at him. Giant flaming barrel and huck it. Oh! oh there you, go. yeah, there you get it. You got it. Wait, Ryan, when you grew up on Acreage, were there other kids around or was it just you and Acreage? The closest house was like a five minute bike ride away. But they did have a kid who was like one year younger than me, so we hung out all the time. You still talk to him? Uh, no, he's, uh, no longer half of 70. <gasps> oh. Well, Gary. I appreciate that we've created a new euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Events. Oh, this one. Number one artist on my Spotify rap this year was Jeremy Soul. I love that. Is that Jerma? That's the uh, Skyrim composer. Oh, did you see the tweet that was like, bro, what's wrong with the Smash community? Your Spotify wrapped has Sonic Team as the number one artist. Oh, I did not man. see that. That's pretty good. Oh, you're, you're already getting into here. I'm even more cringe. I don't have a Spotify rap. I got to wait for Amazon Music Rewinds, brother. Wow, dude. <laughs> Did you start using that when you had the child too? That's, yeah. that's some serious boomer dad activity. I'm, I'm embarrassed of myself, but <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the prime ecosystem. Oh man. My, uh, my, I have a very similar uh, top artist on my Spotify rap. It's uh, Amos Roddy, the composer of the Kingdom soundtrack. Well, that's kind Wait. of it's kind of sick with it. It's kind of underground. The Kingdom like, soundtrack is. Fucking wonderful. I mean, I'm sorry, dude. I've I got a potty mouth. I got a. She has been really swearing a lot. I can't help it. I don't mind. It's kind of uh, nice. I don't get to say this stuff in my home life anymore. Yeah. Oh, little squeeze. This way? Yeah, this way. All right, boys. Ellie's Mead. I'm gonna get an A rank one of these days, dude. I, I, I had it for a brief moment and then I immediately got hit. By the way, this game's called Games Gangs of Sherwood! Exclamation point GOS in chat. Check it out. Click it, li click it, wish list it, click it some more. Big thank you to Nacon. Gangs of Sherwood for sponsoring this. Nakon. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Trailer as well, if you'd like to check out the trailer. Me when I would like people to check out the trailer. Plus two. Plus two? Maybe a few too many of those, I understand. I don't know how it is. Me when I'm Dan's soundboard echoing through the Discord. Oh, where'd our payload go? I don't think we got it yet. Oh, we gotta destroy the other generator, that's right. That's right. Hog wall on us. Don't worry, I got it. 
Heal. His deal. If capes were like jackets, like in terms of social acceptability, would you guys wear a cape? 100%. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't I'd be catch, styling, dude. You wouldn't catch me in a cape. No, but I'm saying, like, let's say it's like, oh, I'm going to grab my jacket or my cape, and no one thought twice it's about like it. It's like interchangeable. Dude. Yeah, no, I'd be yeah. all about it. Yeah. I'd probably wear a jacket because I like when a piece of clothing protects me from the cold. Well, if it's like a cape that wraps all the way around you. You mean like a jacket? It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically like a snuggie, but with no armholes. I don't know. I'm kind of. I think they really broke the mold when they made the jacket. That's a pretty good piece of clothing. I don't disagree. Holy cow. Do you think any new clothing will be invented in our lifetime? Now nah, we're tapped out. Yeah. I, I kind of think so. I mean, what can they do? Jacket plus? Ah, uh, don't give him ideas, dude. Me on December 1st. <laughs> oh my god, I'm down. This dude's wrecking me. Okay, we're gonna right. we're gonna get you out of there. I'm gonna get you? Yeah. I got a lot of aggro, so I think it's a good- But aggro, I got- I got B-Tafs. Thank you, sir. Alright, we should probably focus a little bit here, huh? I'm gonna get these mobs. Okay, I'm gonna get the ads. There we go, all right. Just him. You know what I gotta be doing more is dodge rolling. I keep forgetting that's even a thing. I have been jumping out of the way of every attack. Air dash does work pretty damn well. Wait, there's a there's a dodge roll button? There's a dodge roll button. Yeah, it's the what, one you what think button? it is, too. Circle? Uh, for you, circle, yeah. I'm also down. I got you, I got you. I'll try to pull. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Watch out. Oh, boy. There you go. I deserve that. I deserve to die there. Right. When we focus up, we're fine. Yeah. No sweat. We need some Joker, though. Your <laughs> best combo one. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, is this our yeah, is our checkpoint? Here we go. Me at McDonald's? I'll plus two you for that. What's the number one at McDonald's? It's like a quarter pounder with cheese? It's gotta be a Big Mac meal, right? Really? A Big Mac? I'm always so. a little offended when the number, uh, the chicken nuggets are a number six. Those are, I would imagine that that is not reflective of their popularity. Because I feel like if you were to do like a top three most commonly ordered things at McDonald's, it'd probably be like Big Mac fries nuggets. I mean, I, I just, they've been a number six for years, no matter how many I order. They'll listen to you one day. It's time to upgrade your nose. But you don't you don't go to McDonald's and order just the, the hamburger and the white paper? Mm, no. Are you asking someone at McDonald's to provide you a white paper? <laughs> no, the hamburgers come in white paper. Oh, okay. Are you go oh, yeah. are you time traveling to like nineteen fifty six to make your order? No. <laughs> they still come in white paper. Do you just get a plain burger? Yeah. I get the plain burger. Yeah. You're, I, I respect it genuinely. You're like one of the last holdouts who's going to McDonald's and going, like, I'll take a cheeseburger. Yeah. No, I don't get a cheeseburger. I get a hamburger. What is that do like? You order it, like, specifically plain, too, because they do that, where it's like, you just get, like, meat yeah. and bun. They have hamburger on the menu. They it's do. It's hamburger. Yeah, that's what I get. I mean, what is your sum total of your order is like a dollar 19 or something <laughs> they pay you yeah <laughs> it's, it's very economical at the surplus stock <laughs> one hamburger yeah just a thing yeah what's wrong with the hamburger That's well fine. yeah it's it's okay it's just like i don't know one mcdonald's hamburger is probably like 360 yeah, calories up, yeah it's yeah. like maybe a little more than that maybe like maybe a, a chicken on top of it Fries, then fries with it. I'll, I'll, I'll hit a dad tax. I'll take like two or three from one of my kids. Oh, the phantom tax, I understand. Yeah. yeah. What's your kid's favorite fast food place? Do you do a lot of fast food with the kids or no? I'm imagining now. No, I don't do a ton. It's like a treat, you know? Like, a, yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's a big deal. What about you, Ryan Gary? Uh, French fries from the Costco when we go. Your Costco has French fries? The Canadian, I, I'm gonna. 
I would love to pretend like the Canadian Costco food court is goaded. It does have pretty good poutine and it does have french fries. The french fries are not that great. They are like mm. freezer french fries. They are very cheap because everything at the Costco food court is cheap, but... Wait, what are the items? Because our Costco menu has like four things on it. What's on your Costco menu? Uh, foot long hot dog plus drink, $1.50. Yep. Mm -hmm. Classic. Cheese the, pizza. Chicken wrap. We don't have the chicken wrap. We have cheese. Chicken bake. Chicken we don't bake. have chicken bake, bake yeah, either. Sorry, not a wrap, chicken bake. We have cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza, slice or whole. Um, mm -hmm. French fries, chicken strips, which are also not very what? good. They're they're mm. they're pretty bad. Um, poutine, which is actually pretty good. Ice cream, Surprising. soft serve ice cream or ice cream sundae. Is it ice cream or is it froyo? It's ice cream. Okay. But it's also is it froyo not very good. <laughs> no, I think it looks like froyo, but it's not. Okay. Me personally, I think that they've got to um, they've got to soften the soft serve. I'm not an expert, but anytime Kate gets the ice cream, I'm like, this soft serve is too hard. Yeah. I mean, you don't want hard serve. It's too. What makes you qualified to make that decision, Ryan? Well, I, I've been to so many Disney properties where the soft serve is just like, oh, it's my, as soon as it touches your mouth, it's like cotton candy. Why don't you tell everyone what Disney gave you for your birthday if you're so impressed they with They did send me an email that said, happy birthday. And then it was uh, Mickey Mouse holding a birthday cake with a Hungarian photo website watermark in the bottom left. And I was like, I'm not sure if this company's doing okay right now. That's incredible. Looks like it was from like 1995 AOL it, email. It was too. the most yeah. 90s email I've received in, yeah, in yeah. at least That's a decade. Good. It was like an e card. <laughs> Custard over ice cream? I don't know, man. I don't think I can. What are we doing here? Join you on that hill. I don't even know if custard. I, I, custard isn't much healthier either, is it? I still, I, I know we're on a different topic now. I'm still trying to get over the fact that Dan's McDonald's order is a hamburger. They're just <laughs> no, one hamburger. No sides. Is, is like he's, yeah, I know. I'm with you on that. Like, I'm always defending myself in chat because whenever I'm like, I get the McNugget combo. They're like, we got to do two Junior McChickens, medium French fry, 10 McNuggets on the side, and a McFlurry for uh, dessert. And I'm like, I'm not out here trying to die. I didn't yeah. realize there was a guy out here just going... Give me a hamburger. My wife calls it creepy. She said, that's a creepy McDonald's order. I go, what do you mean? It's just a hamburger. How is that creepy? <laughs> She's got a point. <laughs> and then, are you, next you're going to tell me you don't even use the kiosk. You probably go up and still talk to a, a real person. Yep. A drive through Ah, oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. It is, I mean, it kind of is like a serial killer, killer order <laughs> at it's, McDonald's. It's the single plain hamburger. It's like an order that doesn't exist anymore. Like, I'm sure they don't bat an eye because they see more insane stuff every day, but... <laughs> No, no, dude, you know what? It's like, it's the kind of order that you would make if you're like trying to like watch someone in the restaurant, but you don't want to just like be <laughs> sitting there with nothing. So you just like get one single hamburger just to look like you belong there. I, don't, I mean, that's what they started with. Then you ever see the movie with Michael Keaton? He started I with did. just hamburgers. Yeah. That's true, yeah. So Great it's the rock, most refined, uh, yeah, the most refined item on the menu. That's true. They've taken a lot of reps with it. I mean, I like a McDonald's hamburger, not as much as the McNuggets. I will say every time I eat McDonald's, I feel afterward, I feel like there are rocks in my stomach. Really? Yeah, dude, like it does not sit well at all. Dude, Chad, hey, we're working on a McDonald's sponsorship right now. <laughs> Can you roll that back? Chad, good uh, rocks. you know, like comfortable rocks. Chad tells me that as well, but I genuinely like after I eat a 10-piece McNugget combo, large Coke Zero, and medium fries, I actually feel like I just drank a health potion. Oh, I, I know on, that inside of me, like, there's a battle raging, but mentally, oh, my brain is like, it's like I just took, took a hit of the Estes flask. Yeah, that's incredible. But what's funny, too, is that, like, I think that might even just be a recent development, because I remember when we did the Nug Challenge, and I ate 
like 56 or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> it didn't feel any different. Like I, I, was, I think I was more concerned about that that my body was so used to eating so terribly. That, that is it scary. Didn't feel like there was any kind of change in my diet. A man called it like hitting the Estes. <laughs> I, the, the only way I know how to describe it is that like. I feel like an insane person because everybody else is like, oh, yeah, I just hate the way I feel afterwards. And I'm like, what are yeah. you talking about? What, you hate feeling amazing? You hate the bonus? <laughs> is it Coke Zero or Diet Coke? Uh, well, I, I'll take either, but Coke Zero is my main. But I'll, I'll sideload yeah, Diet Coke if I have to. Can you tell the difference in a blind taste test? I don't know. Okay. Absolutely you not. should try that one day. No? I have a bit of a, a kick going on with diet caffeine free Dr. Pepper, which I like to believe, Ooh. like, no matter how I drink or how much I drink of it, couldn't possibly be all that problematic. But I, I feel like I might be uh, on the threshold, if, if nothing else. Here's what I'll say, and I know maybe Dan has a different opinion. I feel like diet sodas have, like, a huge barrier for most people to, like, drink them because of one study that came out in the 1970s meanwhile yeah. there's yeah. like a, get, there's a new study cancer. there's a new study like every two weeks about how bad like uh red meat alcohol the sun etc etc are yeah and yeah. then people just go mm, i choose not to see it i don't think that's, so but that's, that's yeah. natural that's natural <laughs> I mean, stevia Organic. is natural. It, it grows it, in in the in the ground. Oh, do they make coke with stevia? No. I, I, oh. But that's because stevia is like the worst artificial sweetener out there. They need the the it, clinical uh, stuff to capture the sweetness of real coke. Wait, is it is it? It's worse tasting or wor stevia is? Stevia, I think is is my second least what's, favorite. What's the one that they put in the sugar-free candy? Is that is that aspartame? There's one of them that is the one that gives you like horrible gas that <laughs> I had a bad experience with when I first tried it. Wait, Ryan, which sugar fake is good for you? None, probably. Which one is least is most best for you? I have no. I imagine it's probably stevia, but that that's based on my bias to think that because it wasn't created in a laboratory, it must be good for you. But like lots of poison just grows in the soil anyway. You ever see a mushroom? Like ricin? Yeah, castor oil. All these other things you could use. What to about monk fruit? Monk, monk fruit? monk fruit. Monk fruit's good. I don't know monk fruit. No. I, I've, I've had monk fruit in a few things. It's, well, it, it hasn't caused me any negative effects, which I uh, consider a win. Although you can't really like... Well, like, okay, so like I made like pancakes with monk fruit sweetener. I've made like a couple like baked goods. So I Does feel it like look you like sugar? Really... It's got the consistency of it. It's like a little darker and the, the granules or whatever you call them, like the individual uh, things are a little bigger than like sugar crystals, but um, yeah, it's pretty similar. Get me out of here, bro. I'd like to say I have an S rank. Really? Nice. S rank. But because it's a monk, fruit, the monk fruit. It's a monk fruit S. Wait, is it like granular or is it like powder? It's it's little like crystals, yeah. Okay. I feel like sometimes that stuff is like powder. I am down by yeah, the way. Yeah, let, let's kill these guys and then res bear. Yeah, I, was I was getting up to A's a couple times. Couldn't quite maintain though. All right, we're we're nearing our boy again here. What does Chad say is the healthiest fake sugar? Um, you don't want to get Chad started on the diet soda stuff. You know how many people come ahead. into my chat four days a week and are like, just crack the beer, enjoy the stream, guys? <laughs> and then like I crack a, a Coke Zero and they're like, people who drink diet soda are so weird. Just drink water. I'm like, brother, take your own advice, you hypocrite. <laughs> What's yeah, Al? I started looking at some last night. It said allulose. What's allulose? Allulose. I have no idea. Oh. You guys are aspartame pilled. I mean, the only ones that I know are aspartame and uh, monk fruit. Sorbitol. Splenda. Splenda's got to be the worst, man. The idea, I, you would not catch me putting the Splenda in my coffee. Yeah. 
All right, the rematch, boys. Yep. I respect him this time. Now that we know He's there's a dodge button, like we're we're set. Oh, dude, yeah, we're cooking. I ain't even gonna get hit this time. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I, I trust Ryan as a source of health, but I like him just pounding Coke Zero. Why do people just like, when you drink two co uh, Coke Zeros a day, people are like you're <laughs> pounding them. <laughs> people I mean, are coming home from work and having like it. two cores lights and people are like, yeah, that's the, I think the government says like one to two a day is pretty good. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They, the same thing with sparkling water. When I was drinking sparkling water, people would be like, isn't that a lot of sparkling water? Like because it's purported to be healthy, you have to have like a, a much higher hurdle to clear. Whereas if something's unhealthy, like you're never going to catch someone Googling like how many Cheetos is okay to eat, right? Like <laughs> yeah. they know. But there's so, they, they consider that there's like something dishonest about like you're being tricked if you have like a diet it soda. It is because it's a myth. How can you have pop and it doesn't cost you anything, health wise, right? It there's feels like be a something. cheat code. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not, like I, I definitely don't feel like I'm doing uh, right by my body drinking like five diet Dr. Peppers a day. That might be a little much for my standards, but I will say there's something about like a when you have the soda in your garage in the summertime and then you go get like a hot can a hot can of soda is pretty bad but a hot can of diet soda is actually like drinking mosquito repellent <laughs> i was i was preparing for you to defend the consumption no of no no it's hot bad diet soda okay yeah the artificial sweeteners don't deal that well with the heat apparently i got you i got you thanks thank you thank you Ryan, how did you spin like that? I pressed the dodge button. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not trying to cause anybody to have a crisis of faith. I think I've been hit like four times in the whole battle so far. That's very uh, promising. Your also hitbox is the smallest. Mm, that might be true. true. Yeah. That might be true. Basically cheating, but you know. Yeah. Well, the game's named after me, so. <laughs> Hang in here. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. This is what I imagine like WoW 20 man raids to feel like, something like this. This is definitely the most intense it's been so far for us. Come on. Thank you, thank oh, you, thank boy. you, thank you. There we go. I gotta live this time or the Final Fantasy 14 community is really gonna give it to me. <laughs> Did you ever get into that? No. What's the last MMO you played? None. I feel like really? we're missing the boat on Hardcore War. I'm just going to say it. I feel like we should have that. You want everyone to play Hardcore while we're missing out on it. Dude, I'm I just can't. saying. I can't do it. Like, but I, you I, could. I've, I've played a couple MMOs. I can't do WoW. Hardcore, though, is different. It's built different. Stop moving. Oh, Stop crawling, man. I can't. It's because we're in our death zone. You're, you, you're already dead. <laughs> I want to save you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no you. Problem, All right, no let's problem. let's focus on staying alive. It's here. the freaking big gun move, dude. That's one. That's the one that's been melting me here. Do we have regen rings on? I wish. I don't think we have any extra lives here. How do you pronounce this guy's last name? You can use focus for like a, a 45 <laughs> seconds. We can kill this guy. Don't have to do the whole mission over again. I'm just asking. How do you say this guy's last name? Uh, Pretty sure it's Gizborn. Oh, Are you down. sure? I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I got you. I'm gonna get Barry. You just, you just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, right. I'm just gonna pepper him. Come on, nice. Oh boy. Come on. I'm down. Oh no, this dude. That move is wild. It's all you, Dan. Stop. He's done it. Oh, you, you go get bear. You go get bear. You go get bear. You go get bear. Huge, huge rest. I am down. You get get bear. Get bear. We got. Oh, you're standing in the ring. Oh no! Just wait. Just wait. Okay. I nice gotcha. Play. It's nice gonna. Play. It's Very gonna be good. gun. 
I'm running. I'm going for Dan. Okay, I'll, I'll put some DPS on him then. Oh, oh you're so close. Thank you, 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 thank you. Big damage, big damage, big damage. I mean, you couldn't imagine playing hardcore WoW and then someone dies and then the salt just starts flowing. That sounds like an even worse version of WoW, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And get him up out of nice. there. All right. Ryan, can you pepper him, please? He's invulnerable during this. Oh, How do really? you know? Because okay. I've been attacking him. <laughs> We're so close. Come on, get him! Yeah. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Cal. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. A Jai of Jizborn defeated. Let's <laughs> wait for that pronunciation. <laughs> PLB Ryan Gary's car in 2300. Nice. <laughs> All right. Plus two. All right. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah. All right. I wish Sir Loxley had. Well done, gentlemen. Like an army spider. Ain't nothing but a peanut. It's over. Robin's hey, boys. Gangs of Sherwood with thoughts on it. Closing thoughts, gentlemen. I think we got one more. I think we got one more mission in us. Mm. <laughs> that felt conclusionary. All right. Yeah. All right. It was a big win, dude. We had to take him on twice. Mm. 13 and 0 in backpack battles, man. I got the hankering. Oh, I gotta. He's, <laughs> he's, he's gonna scratch that itch. Oh, um, not, not our strongest showings here, but that's all right. Oh, I thought you were getting S ranks. What, what happened? How'd you end up uh, D unbreakable? I did die, I think, like nine or ten mm. times. Okay. So <laughs> might have brought me down a little bit. Big thank you to Gangs of Sherwood for sponsoring us. Exclamation point GOS in chat. Gentlemen, what'd you think? I had a good time. I really like this. The the wooden puppets automatically make it uh, at least like a 9 out of 10 for me. So they're just working up from there. The uh, knowledge that there was a dodge button the whole time. I found that that was transformative <laughs> on the final mission for sure. That really <laughs> that changed the amount of damage that I took. Yeah, I did notice a direct correlation there. Exclamation point GOS or exclamation point Sherwood. Thank also you. exclamation point trailer. Big thanks to the team again for sponsoring our time with the game oh, today. But I'm so close to level three. <laughs> <laughs> we don't let me hold you, but don't let me hold you guys back. I had a, I had a fun time. I think we're good to go. All right, good games, lads. GG's. All right. It was fun, guys. Yeah. Later. See you. See you. Thanks again to Nacon for the sponsorship. As they said, exclamation point Sherwood out today. PS5, Xbox, PC. We're playing via Steam. Scratches that vermin tide itch uh, with a little bit of yeah. Devil May Cry style combat. Oh, you're still here. No, yeah, I'm we're yes. just letting you spiel for oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <thanks. laughs> All right. See you later. See ya. I mean, it's when, when your friends hear you do the sponsored bit. Oh. You ever see that uh, video of the streamer who doesn't think that his comms are on and his cat comes into the room and he says, like, I love you, Mr. Biggles? Cutest video of all time. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'll come back and we'll play some stuff. See you in a second.
Do you guys know Mr. Beast is making candies now? I went into a convenience store for the first time probably in years, man. Canada doesn't really have a huge convenience store culture. We are a nation of people who buy their snacks at the grocery store, but there are occasionally there's there's there used to be corner stores, but you know, rising real estate prices has kind of like pushed them out. Okay, in Montreal, maybe the Depanor. If you're going to La SAQ, I understand. La Couchetar, et cetera, et cetera. But of course, I, I mean, there would be more convenience store culture in the rest of Canada if the rest of Canada learned a good lesson from Quebec, which is convenience stores are a lot more interesting to go to when you can buy deuxième la fin du monde, dernière aussi, aujourd'hui. It's a business. But my daughter yesterday, after I picked her up from daycare, was like, I want some lemonade. I said, I don't know really where to get a lemonade, but there was a convenience store nearby. So I said, let's go in here. And they, there was, is every convenience store now just like a, we sell snacks that we imported from the rest of the world. Like the, it's the one chip challenge. It's Mr. Beast. Uh, snacks, it's like, here's uh, Japanese drinks, here's like uh, soda from Croatia. Yes, they're all like that now. Okay, all right. That's cool. It's expensive, but it's cool. Maybe this is a good time for me to note that I don't know what a, um, what is a smoke shop? What do they sell, man? Do they sell smoke? Vapes, cigarettes, and cigars. That explains why the store smelled uh, fucking atrocious, but 2018, oh, hang on, let me change my, my stream metadata. When did you become a boomer? Bro, you, listen. We didn't go to a smoke shop when I was a kid. You just used a lighter to melt the plastic on a two liter ginger ale bottle and then you used your keys to make a little hole in it. And then you shoved the joint in the hole and you took the hit off of where you pour the soda out of. The smoke shops are for the kids who never stop doing that? Oh, that makes sense. Bro, smoke weed? No, I don't think, maybe I would, I would take like an edible once a week or something like that. But I gotta, it's, I gotta plan it out like two weeks in advance. Because if you take it on the wrong night, like there's no coming back from it. <laughs> you, you just have to let, wait for the weed half-life to tick down, right? And it's like 36 hours. You get back to normalcy after like an eight-hour sleep, but it's still kind of trucking in your system for a bit. I'm not going to get a gummy of Delta-8, okay? I'm, I'm from, people told me Delta-8 is how you see the devil. Delta 8 is weak sauce. Then why, why is all edible weed sweet stuff? They should make like a weed salad dressing, bro. Maybe. I don't know. Does that make sense? Does that appeal to anybody? Not at all? All right. Anyway, I guess you know, you know better than I do. 2018, 594 million views. I don't know it yet. 2018, five years ago. Dunk, 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 dunk
danke, 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 du. Okay, Bass and Choir. Embarrassed. I'm embarrassed I don't know it yet. Is this the weekend? Is it... Okay, I need I need more. This is not my era. I might be in trouble today. Also, it's so loud. Holy. Paradise. I have no idea. Just take me to the voice. time and then I, I need the clue I need the clue skip me the clue is innate what is natural imagine dragons natural guess you got it oh <laughs> verbal intelligence says what what I don't know if I've ever even heard that song. Which is crazy because I took a Sam Yo ride this very day. I know um, Radioactive. I know the lightning and the thunder, thunder. I bet I've heard some other Imagine Dragons song, but. Oh, the misery. Every single person is my enemy. Yeah, but I haven't seen that show. What is it called? Arc One? Uh, okay, okay. Let's get some dolls out here. Every single person wants to be my enemy. marker dolls I don't think today's the day guys because first we got a lot of problems here first off what generation is Kalos it's not generation one that's gen six okay what is what are the titles of the generation six video games X and Y uh, okay. Dragon Charizard Mega Y. Oh, you're telling me Charizard Mega Y isn't from Pokemon Y? How does that make sense? Maybe he's not a dragon type. Charizard Mega X. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Was evolved by stone. The Sinnoh stone was required to make Kranidos into Rampardos. No, it isn't. Um, okay. I may get zero today. I may get zero because normal is like impossible. How can something be a normal dragon? That doesn't even make sense. I, I, I have no idea. I have nothing. <laughs> I'm stunned that Charizard Mega Y is not from Kalos. That doesn't make sense to me. Dragon.
I'm going to say there's no shot Drudagon. Drudag How about Dragon and then scroll for things that look like rocks? Sandaconda? Dragon? Scroll for things that look like rocks. Dreadmod GMAX, Garganical, Koraidon. How do we end up here, man? Dragon. Reggie Drago. He seems like he'd be more steel dragon type, but what do I know? I mean, it's not like we got a better option. It's not going to be Dracozolt. Or Dr Dragalge looks like it might be poison, but it might also be normal. No, I don't think that's going to be the case. <laughs> Nothing normal about that. Uh, what about Dragapults? That kind of, I mean, it looks like a water type, but maybe it could also be a normal type. Okay, Psychic Normal. Yeah, I'm like a normal guy, but also I'm psychic. You would never hear someone say that. Normal, ev oh, no, 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 a normal evolved by stone. I, Palm, who evolves into... I... Uh, I palm is I palm the evolve form, bro. What does he evolve into? Help me here. Ambi palm, thank you. Ambi palm. Really? It's right there, and it's wrong. Ambipom is correct in Pokemon Go, but it's wrong in Pokemon. It's just never enough, is it? Can't you just move on to a different video game? You just have to keep adding extra rules of complexity to the game that you already play? Like, this is crazy. Just play something else, bro. It's too much. But you're telling me Pokemon Go is not canon? Rock was evolved by stone. Huge if true. Rhyperior. Probably required a Sinnoh stone to evolve that guy. Psy. <laughs> There's really only one Pokemon that starts with Psy. Maybe Psyduck is, Psy is psychic normal. He has psychic powers, but also he has anxiety. That's like the most normal Pokemon you could ever imagine. Okay, good stuff on this one. How do we do? Um, I know two of these Pokemon. I guess I could have gotten Wigglytuff. Jigglypuff evolves via the Moonstone. I know Oranguru. What is he, psychic normal? He looks kind of normal. He's got a fan. But I, I've never heard of... Oh, you know what? I know Lunatone, too. It's one of those that shows up in Pokemon Go, and you're like, I'm not going to catch that. I'm going to catch something cool. And then you catch all the other cool stuff, and then you're like, fine, I'll catch Lunatone. I mean, this was just not our day, quite frankly. That's just the hard one. That, that one's for the real Poke heads out there. That one's not made for us. You can click on them for more options. Why? So I could see nine more Pokemon I don't know? I bet you'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> if I wanted to see nine more Pokemon I didn't know, I would just Google every Pokemon made since the year 2001. Man didn't even get Dragonite. Dragonite is not Dragon Normal, bro! It's Dragon Flying! Or is this another Pokemon Go bit of nonsense, man? That's correct? Yes! <laughs> yeah, when you try to school me on Pokemon knowledge, I have a 1 out of 10 Pokemon knowledge, and it turns out your ass has a 0, but you thought you had an 8 somehow. That's embarrassing. Your ass just got dunning Krugered in front of 6,000 people. This is Ghostbusters 2. I've seen this movie. This is shot like J.J. Abrams. This is like Super 8. 
Elizabeth Lamb. This is Rosario Dawson. They're using an older generation iPad. Hypnotherapists. I'm going to know this. I don't know it right now, but I'm going to know it. I'm going to know this. I don't know this. It's freaking James, James McAvoy. This is It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> James Matt, it, it, could it be glass? I guess it's not going to be glass. I don't know this. I don't know this, man. I'm, it, I don't think it's Wanted. The iPad didn't really exist when Wanted came out. I'm blanking. I'm washed today. Rosario Dawson. James McAvoy. The answer was trance. I've never heard of the movie. Fair enough. There's nothing we could have done on that one. Not only have I not seen it, I, I haven't heard of it. It had a sick poster. When did this come out? Was I in like a, was this food poisoning arc? Was I in the hospital? 2013? No, I was just playing Isaac. <laughs> Some of Rosario Dawson's best work. I find that hard to believe. You're telling me it clears Asuka? And Clerks 3? Yo, oh, what is this, dude? Factal today? Countries that love sushi, percent of population searching for sushi on Google in April 2003? <laughs> I mean, the, the one you would consider free is Japan. I would definitely say it wouldn't surprise me to see USA, Canada. I don't even know where I would go next. Honestly, I, don't, I feel like I have nothing to... I, I, every, every country loves sushi. What country loves sushi more than others? Uh, all of them? You would think maybe Asian countries because they're close to Japan or maybe like Western countries that venerate Japanese cuisine. But Japanese cuisine is venerated like every... I think Australia actually feels like a, a good one to me. And let's go a little crazy. I'm just going to throw Sweden up there. High standard of living and sushi tends to be expensive. We got four of them right out of the damn gate. That's crazy. And you know what? I'm going to go Canada, USA. I don't think in Japan, they don't have to Google sushi. They just walk down the street. I'm going to say that it's New Zealand, Australia, Japan. I'm going for the broke here. Oh, no New Zealand. Huh? Okay, so Japan's in third. Let's figure out, I mean, the, it's kind of a coward's way to play the game. I would think the United Kingdom has a chance. I would think that China has a chance. I'm going to also say Norway, South Africa, and Germany. Wow. We're blanking, bro. Okay, I'm gonna say. Maybe my biases are playing into play here. Listen, don't take this the wrong way, okay? I'm gonna implicate my own country in this. Sushi is Japanese cuisine. Canada and Australia don't have monolithic cuisines of their own, okay? 
Like we, Canada's cuisine is kind of like, we just take America's cuisine and then we add like meat pies and butter tarts to it. I feel like Australia is sort of like the same way. I get, they got some stuff, okay. They got like bunny chow or whatever, but like we have to import our food culture. So, and America has a great cuisine of all different kinds. People will hate me for saying it, but it's true. Try going there sometimes. But they also import a lot of their food culture as well. So that was like a gimme. Now I'm trying to figure out who else fits the bill. Because I feel like Mexico, Italy, Thailand, maybe this is not the right first principle to work for here. But like, I'm like, if you lived in Mexico, I think you would be less likely to Google sushi. Because I think you would be like, I'm already eating delicious stuff. Same for Italy, same for Thailand. So... And then Mongolia, I'm like, they don't even have any, I'm not going to say they have no water, but they got no oceans. So I'm going to say Brazil, which does have like its own cuisine, admittedly. Poland, I just don't see. Greece, I just don't see. Egypt, I just don't see. I'm going to go Argentina. I'm going to go Colombia. I'm going to go Nigeria. And I'm going to go Angola just to, just to get him out there. Oh, what? People in chat are throwing me for a loop. They're like, he doesn't know that people in Mexico love sushi. Bro, everybody loves sushi. It's sushi. <laughs> people were like, I live in Thailand. People eat sushi here. Yeah, I fucking know. They eat it everywhere. But who's the top five by per capita, bro? So it's going to be Canada, USA, Japan, Australia. We get one pick. Okay, Mexico. Italy! It was Italy. Be honest. That wouldn't have been your fifth pick until maybe you got to this point. I guess it makes sense, you know? You've got to get sick of pasta and pizza and salads. Wine, espresso, wonderful breads, viennoisoir. It is crazy that Italy got it all figured out. You know how I know they got it all figured out? They got pasta and antipasta. Dude, like, I'm not going to say that Canada is the highest loving sushi, highest sushi loving country on the planet in the cities though people go insane for sushi but also i feel like canada's full of people like me that would like eat something and then google it <laughs> we'll be like you know <laughs> me while eating a sandwich i wonder when the sandwich was invented Mm, turns out there's, uh, in the Babylon times, there's a cuneiform tablet with the phrase sandvik on it. Sandvik was Babylonian for uh, bread mixture. This may have been a historical records introduction of the first sandwich. It's a tough one, but I feel like it's good because we learned something. We will not be doing factal sports because it's, uh, again, about the National Basketball Association. Brett Favre's final playoff game was an NFC Championship game loss in overtime against what team? It's got to be the Seahawks, bro. They were a powerhouse back then. Tyrod Taylor played in three Orange Bowls during his time at this ACC school. See, this is freaking me out. Why wouldn't the Orange Bowl be from the SEC? Because the SEC is like Florida and Georgia where they grow a lot of citrus. This doesn't make sense. ACC, North Carolina... Virginia, Virginia Tech. South Carolina, maybe. West Virginia Mountaineers. Louisville? Is Lu you know what? No, I'm gonna, I, let's at least keep it to a school that you know is in the ACC. Let's mix it up. Let's go West Virginia Mountaineers. That's wrong on that one. The last reliever to win the National League Cy Young Award was this Dodgers closer in 2003, who is Eric Gagne. 
There we go. We got one of those. The word basement was part of the name of the off-price sister store of this brand of American department stores that went out of business during the 2000s, 2010s. Could there be Sears basement? <laughs> it sounds so cursed. Kmart basement? Sears basement? They don't. Sears is so dead. It was like the biggest company in the world for a hundred years. Now it's not even in Daily Dozen trivia. Basement. Maybe Forever 21. It's not really a department store now that I think about it. American department stores that went out of business. All I can think of is Macy's, but they're still running, man. Macy's, Sears, Kmart. Macy's. I just, I, I don't know what else it could be, honestly. This is Daniel Craig's face and uh, Daniel, Daniel Craig's skull and Sarah Jessica Parker's face. Craig Daniel, please. Thank you. And Sarah Jessica Parker. That's just a gimme. Launched in 2013, George Clooney is a co-founder of Casamigos. Jason Lee played a small-time thief who tries to reform his ways in My Name is Earl. Justin Long started in a 2001 horror film in which a brother and sister get hunted down by an ancient creature that wakes up 23 years to feast on human parts for 23 days. I don't know it. I'm going to say it's Ginger Snaps. That's a problem. Um, 2001. Hunted down by an ancient creature. Okay, how about music? Donald Glover is also known as Childish Gambino. Justin Long, 2001. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ancient creature that would... Why do I want to say it's Hocus Pocus? Because Justin Long in 2001 would have been like 16, let's say. So it's like a... It's a teenage movie. I, I just don't know what it is. I'm going to say it's Jumanji. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm done. Let's see. A movie one was tough today. R retail and shopping was tough. Average score, four and a half. We got five. I'll take that. Let me, let me look at the results here. Brett Favre lost to the Saints. They were also a powerhouse back then. Virginia Tech. Not that I, I mean, I was just guessing. I don't know why I'm acting like I could have gotten it. F Fillines? The hell is Fillines? I've never heard of it in my life. It was only in New England? It's like me making a reference to the sand. Jeepers Creepers. Oh. That makes perfect sense. That was a good one, though. Dude, they really brought the heat on Thursday, man. Like, the trivia is not messing around today. You said Hocus Pocus? I know, it was like, we were, we were, like, so far off, but, like, we had a connection to it. Like, my brain was like, it's got some kind of topsy-turvy type wordplay. Cottage, cheese, cream cheese, string cheese. Just simmer on that for a minute. Sidekicks, Hobbs and Shaw, Batman and Robin, Holmes and Watson, Notorious and B.I.G., Rebecca is a weird one. All I can think of is Romaine Stamos. String bean. <laughs> Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs. It's not Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Rebecca. Batman and Robin. Calvin and Hobbs. Holmes and Watson. Goose and chicken. Goose, Robin, Duck, 
problem is there's the, it's not going to be birds. That's like it seems like a seems like a uh, a red herring if you'll allow the pun. How about mini skirt? Don't think that makes sense. Dodge ball, duck ball, Hobbs ball, notorious things that B I G follows. Notorious B I G. Say B I G. This is a trouble. Skirt steak. Escape. I mean, this is like a Cine 2 Nurdle right now. I'm like lost. Cottage cheese, cream cheese, string cheese. Rebecca cheese. Is that a person? Robin cheese. Rope cheese. Yeah, in Hearthstone, maybe. Skirt cheese. No thanks. Once you find the first connection, life gets a little easier. Gray goose. Gray cream. <laughs> cream. Skirt. Rope. Things at a rodeo. Escape. A rope. A bull. Hang on, I'm just, I'm sipping. I have so many that have three, I just can't find the fourth one. Robin, duck, goose. I, I don't, unless, no, it doesn't make sense. Cottage. Cottage. Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca Romaine Stamos, Rebecca De Mornay, Reb Eka, Mark Echo, Cream, Skirt, Cream, Skirt, Cream, Say. <laughs> Hobbs, Hobbs, is in a, Hobbs is a tiger. Hobbs is a tiger, not a bird. Dodge Ram. Dodge Charger. Goose Charger. Skirt Charger. Mini Skirt. Pencil Skirt. Pencil Rope. Rope Pull. Things you tie a knot into. Things that you hang on to. You could hang on to Batman and Robin. I think it's going to be, you know what? Give me Hobbs, Robin. We got to do something at some point. These are sidekicks. Rebecca and Notorious. No, Watson. And Rebecca. <laughs> Notorious. Goose from, uh, from Top Gun. Goose. Okay, sidekicks. All right, now, now we can start to talk about something. Cottage cream string. These are cheeses, man. Rebecca. <laughs> Dodge cheese. Bird's cheese. Notorious cheese. Say cheese! <clears throat> I'm going to pick Rebecca for everything, man. We, only, we can only make one more mistake. Duck Bill. Rebecca Bill. Escape. Escape. Fire Escape. Firebird. Fired Notorious. Notorious, B-I-G. Escape, skirt, B-I-G. Notorious, B-I-G. Rope, big. Dodge, big. You, wait. Escape? 
Skirt, dodge, duck. These are ways that you avoid something. Rope, Rebecca, notorious birds. I actually have no idea. Hitchcock movies! Hitchcock movies! That was a tough connection. Say cheese kind of like broke my brain. What is rope? Hitchcock's always with the ropes, you know? He's always posing with nooses and stuff like that. The hardest part, by the way, is not coming up with the answers. It's trying to just repeat the words without going insane or driving chat insane. I mean, that was like four minutes of me just repeating words for what looked to you to be no reason. But I just had to give my brain like a, a chance. Ice cream so good. It often dissipates with daylight. What is do? Yoko Ono. Be popular online. Viral. Cause to go wow. Below the belt. Personally, doy, but <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. He might be with an I. I don't know. That's like a Jermaine O'Neal. What disappears with the do? Muppet with a long curved nose. Grover. There's Grover. Key that causes indenting. It often dissipates with daylight. Okay, well, hang on. We're like... I'm stuck. Personally... Popular online. Cause to go wow. See, I don't know if Shaquille O'Neal maybe spelled with an I. And it often dissipates with daylight. This is the worst mini crossword I've ever done. Well, like worst performance. Cause to go wow. Surprise. Impress. Stun. Key that causes indenting. Tab. <laughs> uh, okay. Go pop, be popular online. It often dissipates with daylight. Do. This is our do. Cause to go wow. Alive. It often dissipates with daylight. It often dissipates with daylight. What is the dark? What is a lack of light? Sometimes your brain just needs like a, a quick degauss. You like look at it as if it's for the first time. Look at it from a different angle. Look for some wordplay. Muppet with a long curved nose. See, that's freaking me out. Because it's Grover. It's not Kermit. It's not Miss Piggy. It's not Animal. Grover, I guess. Wait a minute. I got, do I have a confused Grover? Grover is a Sesame Street character. He doesn't have a curved nose at all. It's Gonzo! What is this? Cause to go wow. Alize? <laughs> Trend, trend, that makes sense. Personally, 
for me, um, amaze. <laughs> okay, amaze me, dude. That was a tough one. That was really tough. We got there though. Trend, amaze, below, for me, fog, O'Neill. You almost got 420. Normally we get it in like 50 seconds. So like four minutes is, but that's how crosswords go. It's gotta be like at least a mini crossword that distribution has to be like an inverted normalized distribution. Most of your games are either going to be like really short or substantially longer. I don't think there's going to be like a, a lot in the middle. The mathematic is correct at all time. Bimodal, exactly. Let the rhythm take you over. Bailamos. <clears throat> okay. Coscodal. We got to redeem ourselves. King Arthur gluten-free flour, measure for measure. Barf, he stole my whole flour! Bar for bar, measure for measure! Five pounds of flour, doesn't seem like a whole lot. Flour is relatively cheap. I would expect that maybe in, for, for normal wheat flour, this might cost, say maybe like $8.99. Then you add a gluten-free John to the top of it maybe takes you up to eleven ninety nine, and then account for it being the United States of America. So take it down a little bit, ten ninety nine. It's way too expensive. Let's go seven ninety nine. Congratulations, the price was seven ninety nine. What is gluten free flour made of? Rice and buckwheat. Oh, okay. So it's like, you tell me they're selling this shit next to the rice flour. I bet the rice flour is like five forty nine. The gluten free normal flour seven forty nine, seven ninety nine, whatever. Rice isn't gluten free. That is true. <laughs> You, all, you are also right. Buckwheat is the most gluten-rich sounding food of all time. Rice is gluten-free? Then riddle me this, Batman. When I put rice into my rice cooker, I press a button that says glutinous rice. I don't know if there's actually a riddle in there, so I apologize, but like, it doesn't seem to make sense. Is the rice co does the rice cooker have a gluten tank that it's using to add gluten into the food? That's crazy. I didn't know. Gluten is wheat, bro. I thought gluten was... I know gluten is wheat-related, but I also thought... Other things can become gluten if they're like worked too much. Nah, there's two. This is why the English language needs, like you just make another word. There's gluten, then there's glutinous, having gluten, and then just completely next to it, the exact same word, glutinous, which means sticky, irrespective of the amount of gluten inside of it. Make another word, bro. Just make another word. You're telling me glutinous and glutinous are the same word with two different meanings that are unrelated to one another. Shit pisses me off. February 26, 2010. 2010, February 26, 2010. I was in my final year of university and Paramount Pictures just came out with a banger starring Leonardo DiCaprio. It was called Shutter Island. It's my final year of university and Warner Brothers just came out with a, a banger. It was called Red. No, I saw Red that summer. Mm, maybe, okay, it was worth a guess. 
Bruce Willis, 2010, Warner Brothers. Can I get a genre? Action, comedy, crime. This is Cop Out. That's correct. That's Cop Out starring Bruce Willis, Tracy Morgan. Overture Films just came out with a banger. I was in my final year of university. Over, Overture Films just came out with a banger starring Timothy Oliphant and Radha Mitchell. Is this the Deadwood movie? <laughs> No, okay, I'm in trouble then. Timothy Oliphant. Reveal all hints. Four friends find themselves trapped in their hometown after they discover their friends and neighbors going quickly and horrifically insane. What is the neighbors? What is the nines? No, that is a, uh, I don't know this one. Mystery horror action. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait on that one. 20th Century Fox put out a movie that made $706 million. This is pre-X-Men First Class. I believe this is pre... You know what? It could be The Amazing Spider-Man. I don't know when The Amazing Spider-Man came. This seems too early for An Amazing Spider-Man, though. Let me get actor. Sam Worthington. It's, oh, his avatar was in the middle of, a, of its insane run. It's the only thing that makes sense. I thought that was a Disney property, but this, they must have purchased it after. Oh, because they got 20th Century Fox. They bought 20th Century Fox during the pandemic. Okay. 70 milli, third week. It's pretty good for a January release. Starring Logan Lerman. Adventure Fantasy Family. Tagline, Worlds Collide. Oh, it's going to be like a fucking Percy Jackson... Sea of Monsters. Also starring Brandon T. Jackson, also known as Al Pacino. Um, Accident-prone teenager Percy. Fuck you. Fuck. fuck worlds collide. Percy. I chose the second one. Sec it's my bad. We should have gotten points on that one. And I, I'll just be honest with you. I simply don't know what this is. The crazy... I did somewhere in my brain because I was going the nines. The neighbors. The crazies, the crazies. I don't know how I would have discovered it, but dude, 55th percentile, that's okay. Pretty midweek at the multiplex if number four came out 11 weeks ago. Uh, it's February, but also Avatar went on to be the highest grossing movie of all time. So you're dealing with outliers here, Malcolm Gladwell. That being said, you know, I mean, any movie with Martin Scorsese, Having a movie at the multiplex is not a, a, a sleeper one, even if it is Shutter Island, but still, you're not totally wrong. Not my favorite weekend at the multiplex, at least. Back when Marty's movies made money? Why, were you giving me like a tongue twister? Also, uh, isn't uh, Killers of the Flower Moon going to outgross the Marvels? I love that for him. Bandle? Connections? Who's going to tell him? Dr. Nefario. That's a problem for me. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, but I do know Elizabeth Moss, Invisible, Stalker. This is the Invisible. And I think I see First Man in here. So just work with me for a second. That's the Invisible Man. And then uh, First Man. There's our connection. Then. I believe we have Jennifer Lawrence, Ballet Recital, Class. Never mind. <laughs> Production pianist, City of Stars. See, this is a problem because the con this is Damien Chazelle. <laughs> that's, uh, that's La La Land. So let's hot swap. Let's hot swap. Jennifer Lawrence is in X-Men First Class. First Class, Jennifer Lawrence. Magnet. Okay, we got there. The heck is Dr. Nefario, man? 
La La Land, I don't know. Invisible Man, X-Men First Class, First Man. Despicable Me, oh, fuck me for being 22 when like a well-respected kids movie came out. Fuck me, I guess, fuck me. Everything okay today, son? No, I'm getting cyber bullied for not watching G-rated movies when I was 23. Deserved. <laughs> I'm 23 right now. I doubt that because you were posting insane stuff here like five years ago. I know you probably thought it's been long enough. I wouldn't remember your name. No, 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 no. That, we haven't reached that age yet. That's still up there. I mean, I know you're like kids post insane stuff, but not that kind of. They'll type, hey, how many skibbities does your Riz have, old man? You were typing some stuff that like, like insane adult stuff. There's a difference, you know? You know like how the crazy kid in high school is like, give me 10 bucks and I'll eat this? That is not what the crazy kid says when they grow up. They start talking about, you know, I've built a Faraday cage around my office because the, I can smell the magnets, you know, and stuff. I can smell the LTE signal. No, I'm genuinely 23. I started watching you when I was 13. All right. All right. I mean, you know your age better than I do. Ah, uh, to be 23 again. The whale. Brendan Fraser. So true. So true. I'm blacking out. There's too many words on the screen. The Age of Adeline. Blake Lively. The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. What are movies based on young adult fantasy novels? Prince Caspian, Harry Potter, and the Half-Blood Prince, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Oh, wait, 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 there's a Kenneth Branagh connection here. Haunting in Venice, Belfast, Death on the Nile. This is Kenneth Branagh, bro. Blade Runner, Harrison Ford. I also feel like Harrison Ford is in The Age of Adeline. Okay, that's going to be our... And he's also in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I see the Brendan Fraser connection via The Mummy as well. Okay, now just use your, use your elf eyes, Legolas. The first journey to the center of the earth was Brendan Fraser. Then they replaced him with The Rock. Yes. You're here. You're here. Okay. Harrison Ford. We'll come back to this. Kenneth Branagh, Brendan Fraser. I want to come up with it for myself. Half-Blood Prince, Prince Caspian, Prince... They have all have Prince in the title. Okay, fair enough. Now... Animated films. No. Ridley Scott directed them. No. One best actor. No, 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 no. Maybe no. No. Well, I haven't seen this one yet. Definitely not. What, is, what did she say? We'll drink so much, we'll fill the Nile with champagne. You've seen the... You've seen the clip. I, have, I don't really like the Kenneth Branagh ensemble, Agatha Christie movies, although I heard A Haunting in Venice was the exception that breaks the rule. Um, the Desert. Prince of Egypt, Death on the Nile. Tatooine? Tatooine? The Raiders of the Lost... Raiders of the, and the Mummy. Okay. It's not Tatooine, bro. It turns out... My mistake. You know, it's funny. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Fun movie. Raiders in Lost Ark. <sighs> That's a tragedy. Didn't they take the servers offline? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe not. <laughs> no, they're still going? All right, all right, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
The Shawshank Redemption to Spider-Man 3. Can't wait till you guys stop bad chesting Star Wars. Jay, come on, man. Star Wars, it's, it's in peak bat chesting right now. You got to go with the ebbs and flows, okay? When Marvel movies were like pretty good, and even when they were boring, they were at least building to something. I was going to bat for Marvel. But then like, you know, the Eternals, Shang-Chi, Wakanda Forever, Thor, Love, and Ragnarok, or what? sorry, Thor, Love, and Thunder, 17 extremely mid Disney Plus shows that you absolutely have to watch to keep up. I, the tide turns, and I jumped on my boat and said, let's ride this bitch. People were saying, you know, it, the Marvel movies have always been mid. Why are people offended by their midness now? Well, because at least when it was mid before, you would be like, you know, at the... The closing credits scene, or you'd see like, oh, this is what happens to the Infinity Crystal. Like you, you kind of get like, D -d 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 -d, you know, like you're building something. But then once they had the payoff to that build, I'm like, I'm not watching this shit. Are you crazy? Like in hindsight, my ass. The only reason I watched Thor, Thor two, like all the, the Incredible Hulk was because like it was at the, the climate was different for superhero movies back then. You know, it was like, oh my god, there's a superhero movie. Like I'll go see it. If you're asking me to watch Thor 2 because some of the stuff in it might be relevant in nine years, I'm not making that mistake again. But I feel like Star Wars is kind of like in the exact same position. Except for, I hear Andor, of course, is amazing. But like, what were they doing with Asuka, man? Like when I watched the, then Obi-Wan, I've only seen clips from it. They got Lizzo in the Mandalorian helping Grogu play dodgeball or whatever. It's just like. <laughs> Bill Burr too? Yeah, but Bill Burr was pretty good in the second season of the Mandalorian, okay? You're so out of touch. I don't think so. You know what it is? Is I think there's two versions of In Touch. And there's one version of In Touch that's online. And I think I'm out of touch with the media landscape online. You will not catch me watching uh, Wish just to dunk on it and pray for Bob Iger's downfall, for example. I still haven't seen the second Across the Spider-Verse movie. I don't know what all the kids are talking about in their Discord channels. But I'm very in touch with normal life. And I know that because when I talk to other parents and I'm like, have you seen any good movies lately? They're like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, me neither. And it feels good just to be seen, honestly. Now shut up, I'm playing a movie-based game. I'm examining. Okay, Shawshank Redemption. You can see it for yourself. Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, Spider-Man 3, Tobey Maguire, Topher Grace, Kirsten Dunst, James Marsden, James Franco, Thomas Hayden Church. Who played the Rizzler in this one? Jimmy Connors, I think, is in this one. Is Jimmy Connors the name of the guy? <laughs> I think it's the name of the guy. What's his name? Not J.K. Rowling. J.K. Simmons played by J. Jonah Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson played by J.K. Simmons. Okay. Flashback to Cliff Robertson. Rosemary Harris. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Clancy Brown. I know Clancy Brown. Jeffrey Damon, I know Jeffrey Damon. He's from season one of The Walking Dead. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? You don't connect to Toby. It's my two cents. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a circuitous route here, okay? I'm gonna go Tim Robbins, High Fidelity. Jack Black. Let's try to collect via Jack Black here, who's in the Super Mario Brothers movie. We got to get the, we got to get the Topher Grace, or 
celebrity escape room. No way, man. We got to get to Topher Grace or Tobey Maguire or Kristen Dunst. Jack Black's been working, bro. He's been working. Let's go Polka King, Jason Schwartzman. I'm just clicking buttons at this point. Man, Jason Schwartzman been working too. Holy. Wine country. I've made a mistake. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Just get me to sideways, man. Get me to Paul Giamatti. We will, we will be going Paul Giamatti mode. I know how to get to Paul Giamatti. We must go Maya Rudolph. Bro, Maya Rudolph's been kind of working, huh? There's such a, there's a connection here somewhere. I'm trying to get to Edward Helms. Holy cow. Uh, Maya Rudolph must be the richest person in the world. Do you know how many animated movies I've seen? Uh, zero, but like uh, the posters of which after scrolling down, she, she must be worth $400 million. She's been in, she's been in the Emoji movie, Grown Ups, Turbo, Luca, Big Hero 6, Angry Birds movie, Chips, that I wouldn't, wouldn't catch me get, watching Chips, unless maybe... Chips have a little, who's, who's Chips? It's Dax Shepard, Michael Pena. Okay, so you can go like Michael Pena to, um, oh, wait, just anything. How about, um, uh, you have the right to uh, serve and observe and report. That's what I'm thinking. There's got to be a little, Jesse Plemons was in this? John and Matt Yuan? He's saying sorry, Patton Oswald. Like we're we're so Ed Helms adjacent, man. Then I'm realizing, like, where am I? How do you get to Ed Helms? The dude was in. The, you should be going to Bradley Cooper, bro. That's your problem. You should be going to Bradley Cooper. You should be going like Seth Rogen, The Fablemans. Mateo Zorian, Francis DeFord. Okay, we'll go back to the Fablemans on that. In hindsight, that probably wasn't a good pick. Let me get a Judd Hirsch. Judd Hirsch. We don't need to go to Adam Sandler. I think this is before Bradley Cooper was alive. We're, we're too far back. <laughs> I'm, I'm tapping out. <laughs> I'm tapping out, man. What the hell are we doing here? We just had to get to Spider-Man, bro. How hard could it be? Why is my ass out here looking for Paul Giamatti? What are we doing? The Muppets. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Chris Cooper? Has he ever been with Bradley in anything? Jason Siegel. Two, this is 40. With... Paul Rudd, who must have been with somebody who was in The Hangover, bro. I can do this. I know where to go! Leslie Mann, the cable guy. Jack Black. I got lost again. <laughs> Let me, can I see my, where was I? Leslie Mann, this is 40, Jason Siegel. It was like Leslie Mann. I know how to get there. I just need to get to Adam Sandler from Jack Black, which seems like a hop, skip, and a jump. We're going to go 
Yes, okay, I know what we must do. It's, it's actually easy. I'm embarrassed with myself. We go Polka King, Jason Schwartzman, Funny People, Adam Sandler, Anger Management, Heather Graham, The Hangover, part one, please. Ed Helms. Why was I going to Ed Helms again? Or Bradley Cooper? <laughs> Let's try to get to The Hangover. Because then the hangover was going to get us to. How was I working with this one? There's a. Nobody knows. You were trying to get the Kirsten Dunst. No, no, no. That was a different vibe, man. That was a different vibe. We're as lost as you are. I know. I'm trying to figure out how to get to Paul Giamatti, bro. No, I'm not, though. I had another, I, I had a plan for when I got here, but I lost it because there were like 17 other plans when I was on my way. You're on a new wavelength? I'm trying to figure, I, why did I want to get to Bradley Cooper, bro? Why did I want to get to Bradley Cooper? What are we doing here with Bradley Cooper? There was, a, there was such an obvious play. I'm trying to get to Spider-Man 3. Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Thomas Hayden Church. <laughs> Paul Giamatti. Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. Melancholia. Kiefer Sutherland. Kirsten Dunst. Spider-Man 1. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. I think I I've, I've must be like zoop, zoop, zoop. I must have gone past like every... Like, I, I'm one connection away from every actor that's ever been in Spider-Man 3 on every single one of these notes, except maybe this one, because the kid looks to be about eight years old. What were we doing here? Ed, what, why did I want to get to you? I think it was to get here. But then what were we going to do here? Get to Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, we're trying to get to... Topher Grace? Is that what I'm doing here? I'm trying to get to Topher Grace? I don't know what we're doing here. Mike Tyson? Like, you got to be honest, it's kind of a stacked cast, though. <laughs> this is the best headshot of all time. Oh, dude. We could just go... Um, we could just go to James Franco. <laughs> so you scrolled earlier in the 2010s. Uh, and then, I mean, now we got to get back to like Seth Rogen. It's like Muppets Most Wanted. Oh, Jason Siegel isn't in this one. Oh, no, man. Salma Hayek. She's been in a movie with Adam Sandler. Just give it a second. Sausage Party. James Franco. Spider-Man. Three. That's not great. That was 17. Tim Robbins, Jacob's Ladder, Becky Ann Baker, Spider-Man 3. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed by the distance. I am embarrassed by the time. The time was a little much. Shortest path, hang on. When the shortest path is revealed to pass through the demon knight, I need everyone to recognize my vindication. Okay? You have, there's no vindication here. It passes through Jacob's ladder. We got, um, yeah, we're the only person probably that's beaten this with two trips through Jack Black, though, so I'm not really sweating it. Does it tie? I don't know, bro. This isn't fucking uh, Watson. There's probably like 10,000 two-route permutations you could run.
It's just, it's a complicated uh, question. Why didn't you find one? Well, because there's a trillion that take more than two. There's, I guess it's an infinite number that take more than two. 10,000 is like a pretty small number, especially compared to a trillion. Anyway, shut up. It's not fair because Spider-Man 3 is the second most favorite movie in my demographic, even though it's the third best Spider-Man in the original trilogy. And then Shawshank Redemption, despite being the most mid movie of all time, is like the number one movie of all time for people that are 35 years old. There was something about The Hangover, man. I, I could have got from The Hangover to Paul Giamatti and then done a little sojourn to Sideways and then made it back. It's Mega Man 1. Let's say Mega Man 2 because it's right there. It's not even the same saga. Metacritic score too old. Ninja Gaiden. NES Arcade. Duck Hunt. Uh, I'm going to say Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Oh, man. I've never seen the water look like that before because I'm usually jumping in the air. If they showed me a picture of Mario, I would have gotten it. That, like, look, I would have gotten this in one, bro. What about the cloud? I'm not looking at the clouds. I'm looking at the platforms. Maybe that's why your ass can't hack it in Checkpoint League. You're looking at the damn scenery all the time. You show me BLJ and we get that in one. The cloud and bush are the same. I know. I, I used to watch YouTube. She's looking grimy, bro. Is this Returnal? The Shawshank Redemption of games? It is Returnal. <laughs> Boom. We're so back. Game doll artwork. Diablo 2. Lord of Destruction. Wrong saga. Uh, Goodfellas. This is Tekken... Tekken 3. Shenmue. It is Shenmue 2. You ever see the, um, the green text that says, finally got invited to a party, wore my Sh uh, Shenmue t-shirt with a hoodie on top of it, get to the party, for some reason they're talking about Shenmue, say, I've got a Shenmue shirt on right now. The dude says, okay, show it to me. Go to pull up my hoodie, but instead have a brain fart and accidentally pull my cock out. Everyone looks at it in silence for one second, and then they go, nice cock, bro. How did you find that so fast? <laughs> That's crazy. Or am I giving you too much credit? Are you, are you basking in the attention of like being the fastest finder of all time? Uh, but actually you're just typing everything I say into Google and it's narrowing it down perfectly? You figured it out? The only Zoomer who knows how to use Google? Gen Z be out here typing like full sentences into Google. Hello, Google. I would like to know what the number one song of 1967 is, please. My millennial ass. 1967 Billboard. Best song. Dash, dash. Uh, Beatles. Dash, dash. Eagles. Dash, dash. Rolling Stones. Blah, blah, blah. Best selling. Open quotation mark. And, and then they're like, bro, I already found it on Chat GPT. It's um, I want to hold your hand. You want a millennial story? 
one year for Christmas, my uncle, who is a nerd for sure, like an old school nerd, he bought me a book of Google tips and tricks. How to be more efficient at searching for things on Google. And I read it like before bed for a while to help me fall asleep. My grandpa has a book like that. I was talking about it with another dad. I was like, I keep like going to the library and then like every time I go to the library with my kid, I look at the posters as if it's going to be interesting. I'm like, oh, they got lots of like cool lectures and stuff. And then every lecture is like how to use Gmail. How to plug your keyboard into your computer. Like it is not going to enrich my life, man. But every time I go, I'm like, what do they got now? Oh, maintaining a basic Excel spreadsheet. Okay, well, you know, I'm not saying it's not useful. I'm just saying that's not really what I was hoping for. <laughs> I can't even, dude, what is this ad? <laughs> Come on, man. Quiz, am I gay test? What's going on, bro? Take it? <laughs> I don't <laughs> I already took it. In real life. The results came back, bro. I'm definitely not clicking the ad. These are the sketchiest ads I've ever seen, man. So you failed the test? I, they don't give you a pass fail, okay? I think you are homophobic or maybe heterophobic, depending on what you consider failing the gay test to be. I have an open mind. So personally, I think a passing grade is when the gay test tells you you're gay. If you get an F on the are you gay test, it means you're straight. But the main thing is I haven't been studying, so... Bully. Newer than 2006, huh? That narrows it down. Hmm. And it appears it may have some adventuring in the game. How about Rust? Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> First person, third person Unity game from 2013. It uh, is probably open world and has some adventure plus something else elements. 2013 open world, though, that's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. 20, I'm taking myself way back, way back. I actually have no idea what it could be. Let's try to get some uh, of these. So I'm going to play, or I'm going to say it's a single player and co op game and maybe multiplayer. Let's call that every game ever made. Let's call that Titanfall 1. I'm not trying to get the guess. I'm trying to get more, more greens. And I guess we saw that it is not made by EA, but we probably could have told you that. So it's, it's not just single player multiplayer. There's also likely co-op or MMO. Single player, multiplayer, and co-op. What is Halo Reach? There we go. That's a big one. All right. Now, what else can we do? How about it is a shooter, but it also has other elements. What would you describe as a shooter adventure game? Maybe a little Deus Ex Human Revolution? No, not quite. Let me, let me get a clue. Oh, Jesus. Shooter role-playing simulator strategy adventure indie game? I'm definitely going to know it. Is this Warframe? 
Oh, I really thought that was it. So many signs were pointing to it, man. <laughs> it had every genre. It might have been made in, oh, this is made in evolution, apparently. You can go third person or first person. I just don't know. Give me Super Mario RPG, man. Type one letter and then just pick a game. Um, excuse me? It was seven days to die and I got it by typing A into the search bar and clicking a game randomly. There is a God. I would never have gotten that on my own merits. <laughs> Holy, dude. Luxstat maxing out. It's kind of crazy. Holy cow. Look at this. Rotten Tomatoes spit out a certified fresh San Marzano today. A romantic, a romance slash comedy from 1987. Two words absolutely beloved by critics. What is dangerous? That's not how you spell that. What is dangerous liaisons? Underpinning what is a charming protein love triangle is a, it's broadcast news. What a movie. Albert Brooks, baby. Broadcast news. Now that's a classic. One of the major problems with society is that all you motherfuckers have seen Spider-Man 3 and like five of you have seen broadcast news. Also, I know I just insulted you, but can somebody explain to me what protean means? I was a child. I was fucking negative one when it came out. It still exists, bro. He can't be that tall, right? It's the tallest man I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe he is that tall. Victor Wembanyama getting drafted by the... It, dude, it's Texas. This is San Antonio. I say this is 1972. 1958? They made him this tall back then? Dude was... I know people say this. He's born in the wrong era, bro. He would literally be in the National Basketball Association. He should be out on the court. So sad. It's true. Uh, he should have been part of the club. I don't know. <laughs> All I was going to say is this dude has been out there too long. Because he's like posing for the picture. Like, he's, he's looking a little too casual out there. I'm going to say this is 1914. 1916. Oh, so maybe he's just... Oh, wait, I got the... <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to say it. I got Woodrow Wilson's date of election confused with the start of World War I. That's... The, I have two... That happens to me all the time. My neurons for Woodrow Wilson and my neurons for the First World War overlap with one another. I make that mistake. Uh, I catch myself making that mistake like once every three months. That election was 1912. Well, thank you. You've untangled my neurons then. Multiples of four, dog? Well, like if 1914 and 1918 are multiples of four, then so is 1910, bozo. You just subtract four from 1914. Like, I, you could just be like, you're wrong. You don't have to teach me like a rule that is, it doesn't work. World War I did start in 1914. Yeah, I know. Why, like, what are you talking about? You, you should have just said that at the first point. This was the, you're, you're hitting me with a why do they call it oven when you 
of the hot food into it. You know what I mean? Is 14 divisible by 4? I don't, is, is 19 14 divisible by 4? I guess not. But wait, let me think about that. It's 1900 not divisible by 4. But 2000 divisible by 4. And 1900 is just 25 fours. Yeah, wait, oh no, no, you're right. I got it backwards. This is like some fucked up NBC game show. It's like, while you're asking me history questions, you're also like, what's 14 divided by four? And I'm like, dude, I'm... <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to tell you, we got Linda B. Johnson sitting in here in a Jeff Bezos sidecar. It's crazy that like, if these guys can't make the hats work nobody's making the hats work you should not be buying these hats in 2023 i know listen i got baited into it as well my mom told me oh this hat looks really good on you it doesn't i know you're like no i look like i'm from peaky blinders you don't you don't you look like a a little kid wearing his dad's clothes i still wear that hat then you need to hear this more than anybody else Okay, it's toddler core dressing. I'm saying it out of the goodness of my heart. I also feel, and I, I say this as a, a guy who has worn this hat well fat, I feel like for some reason it's like a fat guy hat, but it actually looks worse on fat guys, I think. Like, you think you look like a British taxi driver or something like that, but actually it just like it, it's just like a little flat part on the top of like a big orange or something like that. Like it doesn't, it's not right, okay? You'd be better off just wearing like a baseball cap most of the time. And if you got a, like a formal event or something, you got you to gotta just go hatless. I don't care if you're bald. Or if you're like an old dude who plays the saxophone, then I'll give it to you, but... Is looking like a taxi driver a good uh, option? Well, I know you might be 21, so you're like, it's never going to happen to me. But as you get older, your options for what to look like narrow down quite a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> there's been days where I was like, maybe a British taxi driver is as good as it's going to get today. You know, the, the potential energy and the kinetic energy are, they're starting to equal out, you know? This is Los Alamos, circa 1942. That's got a sting. This is Reno, Las Vegas. I guess that doesn't make sense. This is Reno, Nevada, 1994. This would, this would it look like in 2003 in Reno? I guess that is like, that's a 2000s type car, more than a 90s type car. This must be, we'll call this 2009. It just makes sense. They're all presidents? Yes, that's correct. This is the White House. How did you know that? <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm staring at it. I don't know what I expect, like a jump scare. Like, ah! Bush Sr. is still alive here? Yes, that would be, it would be strange if it was four living presidents having tea with a dead guy. That'd be messed up. I'm just mocking you in order to get over my own 2,400 mediocre score, quite frankly. Is that Joe? Is that Joe Biden? Bro, it's Jimmy Carter. 
Joe Biden's old, don't get me wrong, but he was not 90 in 2009. He would be like 160 now. Jimmy looks old now. I saw like the coverage of him at his wife's funeral. People were like, Jimmy Carter shows up looking quite frail to his wife's funeral. I'm like, damn, they really won't give a G a day off, huh? He's at his wife's funeral. He's 99 years old. And they're like roasting his appearance. I'm like, he's 99, dude. Of course he's frail. I'm not <laughs> like, I'm sure a lot of people have anecdotes of meeting like, relatively healthy looking 99 year olds i've been on earth for 35 years i have never met someone who's 99 and been like wow they look like they look like they're really active like that's old bro he's like one of the he might be the best looking 99 year old Plus, exactly, the dude's at his spouse's funeral people are like jimmy who, what are you wearing who are you wearing Leave him alone. Leave Jimmy alone. Hey, chat, I found your menu. It's for you. Wine from our barrel. That turns out that was a fucking lie. What are we dealing with here? At a restaurant, a Coca-Cola's 220. Sprites 220, they really wrote 220 for, for every single one of these. Okay, what's 150? A one, that's one, $15 for the mineral? What? No, Coca-Cola Light, I, don't, I can't read this stuff. They got this shit like sharpied in. What are we talking about here? Greek coffee, two bucks. Okay, in that case, I'm going to suggest that we're in Greece. Good idea. Greece... Let's say this is uh, Mykonos right there. Circa. I mean, the menu is giving UK Kitchen Nightmares vibes. You should put it in the mid 2000s. But the camera quality is giving 2010s. I'm going to say it's 2014. 2022 my mate joe at a restaurant in oh i thought i thought i was off by like seven oceans i was like what is this i was like i've never seen this country before what the heck is zant this isn't the daily It's nice to, I did that on purpose. It's nice to warm up sometimes. Alphonse the letter. All right, I'll pick up the fonts. You should mail the letter, bro. The fonts is for talking. <laughs> Oh, man. Certainly seems like a British license plate to me. Um, I don't know. I mean, give me, give me London, England. Doesn't matter the district. Let's call this 2009. I don't really know what's happening, to be honest with you. I was Amsterdam, 1999. <laughs> Dutch vibes. There were a lot of bikes. It's a tough one. It really is more like GeoGuessr now, huh? Maybe, oh, I should know the flag, man. There's a lot of flags. I kind of want to, this is like I'm, I'm anchoring on one piece of, oh, Somalia. Okay, well, that's way off from where I was going to guess. Because uh, I was like, I see a dude in a Samsung Chelsea kit. This must be Cote d'Ivoire. He's honoring Didier Drogba. So we'll call this Mogadishu circa 2019. 
2014. It's pretty good, though. We'll take that. County of Roxburg, Jedburgh, Scotland, Newcastle. I told her to take a photo with me at the sign. She did it. She's, absolutely, she's gone absolutely mental. She's mad. <laughs> the hat is, uh, is amazing. Dun, 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 dun. This is back when men used to wear trousers, too. These aren't pants, bro. These are trousers. I thought these pants were only for old guys, but I realized I guess they were wearing them when they were young guys and they just kind of kept it up. So if you're like 60 years old and someone's like, hey, change your pants style forever, you're probably like, I'm just chilling. My dad still calls jeans dungarees. I don't even, what, I thought dungarees were like Oshkosh Pagosh, like, like f just for kids? Are dungarees not for children? Aren't those overalls? Overalls, dungarees, osh posh pagosh, a sweater with five mice on it that says mice girls, you know? I don't know where all this stuff comes from. I feel like this is uh, Scotland. <laughs> I could not tell you where... Well, I guess if Newcastle's 47 meters away, or maybe 47 miles away, then we're probably close to the border of Jedburgh, 11 miles. Okay. Jedburgh's 11 miles away. It's the county of Roxburgh. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to settle for that. This seems fine to me. 